Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new live stream. It's going to be pretty hype today. We're going to be testing out a bunch of different Lost Thunder decks, of course. We're going to be playing all of the Lost Thunder decks that we can play um, at the moment. We're going to be playing Genesect GX with Magnezone, the Ganadel Genesect. Uh, I got a lot of decks to try out today. It's going to be really fun. Um, so yeah, hope hope we are going to be good. A lot of different decks to test out, and we got 30s and 100 rounds too. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, looking forward to the stream today. We're going to be playing a bunch of decks. I got some trades up. And oh, we already got three people in the chat. Sleepy Snorlax, Pokemon Trainer Devin, and Habe Wiz. Sorry if I can't pronounce your name properly, but uh, welcome to the live stream, guys. Thank you for stopping by. And yeah, we are going to be streaming, testing out a bunch of different Lost Thunder decks today. Going to have some fun. I got some spare time, so I was like, bro, we got a live stream. Especially because Lost Thunder is out. It's going to be fun. So I got some trades up right now. Um, hoping they go through. Obviously, I'm trying to get Sceptile GX so I can play, like, the Sceptile deck and everything like that. I'm going to try and build a Lost March deck on stream today, too, if I can. Yeah, I, I do want to build one CB Snorlax. I do still need two Jump Pluffs and two Trum Breaks. So I got to trade up on Pubs right now to hopefully, hopefully get what we need. But we're going to start things off with probably Suicune Quagsire. This most likely might be my next video. So, uh, we'll, uh, start things going off here with, uh, some Suicune Quagsire. I got a nice win streak there, so hopefully we don't lose it. But I feel like Suicune Quagsire will be good, just because we do have, um, a lot of Blissafion right now on the ladder. So, if we run into that, we have an easy matchup. Ooh, looks like we're up against Bulu. This is, like, the worst matchup we could have asked for, because we're weak to grass. But everyone tuning into the live stream, guys, welcome to the stream, and, uh, hope you enjoy... Hopefully you enjoyed the stream, guys. But yeah, bunch of Lost Thunder decks to test out. It's going to be pretty fun. Um, looking forward to it. So we can either start with Poipul or Suicune. I think I'm going to start with Poipul. I am playing Suicune Quagsire. Um, but I do have Naganadel in the deck. It's a really good card with um, with Quagsire. And also has type coverage for Buzzwool, which is nice. Caught a shiny pincer in Pokemon Go. Uh, by the way, you can just say Devin. Alright, nice, by the way. I I don't think I've gotten a shiny Pokemon yet in Pokemon Go, or no, I have a shiny Agron. I got you a Rainbow Rare Sceptile GX. I mean Terry, if you wanna if you wanna donate that, um, I would appreciate it if if that's what you meant, if that's what you meant. All right, so, um, I guess we'll do Water. I might. Okay, let's do Acrobike first. Okay, definitely want to do Sight Seeker now. We'll get rid of probably just Cynthia and the Water Energy. See what we get. Another Acro Bike's pretty good. Okay, we got Naganadel for next turn. That's fine. So uh, we'll start things off with an Aqua Patch to the Suicune. And we'll just pass. We are up against Vikabulu, though, which is really bad because Suicune is weak to grass. I have a Shiny Eevee in Pokemon Go. Nice. Yeah, I don't play much Pokemon Go that much anymore. I, I don't think I've played it since, like, May or April. Um, there's a lot of stuff at my school, at the college campus, but... Okay, good. It's Rayquaza build. Dude, he's playing Delmise, most likely. Um, but nice. You have a shiny Agron, same. Yeah. It's a really nice card. Or, nice card. Nice Pokemon. Uh, Agron, I always put in the gym, too, because it's one of my highest CP guys. Uh, Mortis, welcome to... Or Moritz, sorry. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, let's see. Does he get a Grubbin down this turn? Oh, he does. He has two cards in his hand, though, after this Ultra Ball. And I highly doubt that's going to be Rare Candy Vicable, so we should be safe next turn. But I do like this deck a lot. I think Suicune definitely gives Water Box a bit more support. It's a really good card. Well, it's not really good, but it's, like, good enough. It's good enough. Oh, he's actually going to let loose me. That's fine. I'm actually fine with that. We get a better hand here. I mean, that hand was fine enough, but it's okay. We can also use uh, Burnicles to one-shot Rayquaza. And, ooh, okay, we didn't get a supporter. That's what I was worried about. And he gets the Nest Ball. And somehow this guy is going to have three cards in his hand. But because all Vikavolt players... Okay, never mind, I was going to say. I was going to say he had Rare Candy Vikavolt because all Vikavolt players always get Rare Candy Vikavolt. BRB. All right, all good, Devin. All good. We're going to be streaming for a bit. So, we're good. We got a lot of decks to play. A lot of fun to be had. So, this is going to be a good live stream. It's not going to be a short one, so don't worry. Okay, we drew a Suicune, we have Quagsire, not much else we can do here, we can Brooklyn Hill for, 
I mean, I guess I can collect. I guess I have to. I guess I have to do collect here, unfortunately. We kind of have to draw out of this, so yeah, we're going to have to go into a collect play. We might be safe next turn to not get knocked out. I do feel safe. I feel pretty safe. He only has three cards. I highly doubt he got Rare Candy Vigavolt, though most Vigavolt players always get Rare Candy Vigavolt. Dragon Palkia. Unfortunately, Adidas is not in this deck. What did I tell you? They always have it. Even when they have three cards in their hand, they always have it. I hate Vigavolt with a passion. Who had to get that off my chest? Um, no, Dragon Palkia is not in this deck. Um, the only, like, I got Lapras, Suicune. I am playing one out of Kuno because it does combo pretty well with Suicune's ability. Um, but that's about it. Are you going to do any expanded decks of Lost Thunder? Yeah, eventually one. But obviously standard right now is kind of where all the Lost Thunder hype is at. But I will eventually. Okay, we actually might be able to knock out Rayquaza this turn. I, I hate Vigable so much, though. They always... And yeah, every time they have three cards in their hand. And they always seem to get the Rare Candy Vigable. It actually blows my mind how lucky Vigable players are. I, I can't get over that, dude. I can't believe it. He had four cards in his hand, and he got the rare candy off that. I just... It's so ridiculous, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, Did he even do... No, he did, because he had to retreat Lele. That's right. Okay, Rip. I was going to say... We could have potentially killed Rayquaza this turn. Unfortunately, though, we did not get much going on in our hand. I really hate to lose Lapras here. It's really annoying. But we'll see what we can do. We kind of have to do Collect again. If we can get Naganadels online, that would be nice. Okay, that's fine. That's a good hand. Uh, all right, yeah, I do have a Tyrantar GX deck, actually, Mr. David. Um, that's going to come out eventually. Sometime this this coming week is probably when I'm going to do it. It's a Tyranitar uh, deck with Shining Celebi. And I am excited to try that deck out, but um, for now. You should look into a suck Shuckle style deck. Yeah, I do, Grumpus. I need to get a bunch of Shuckles, though. That's the only problem. Like, with Safion and Shuckle, I need a lot of those in order to, like, make good decks with them, so a little tough. All right, do I go for the Brinicles? Yes, I do. And then I can switch into Ganadel and then make him take less, one less prize. That's going to be the strategy. All right, so. We'll drop Suicune down, I guess. We'll Choice Band here, Choice Band here. We'll Ultra Ball for uh, Naganadel. This is why Naganadel is so good with Quagsire. Because you get the extra energy in play for the Quagsire. It's really nice. So we will be able to take a knockout here. And possibly go into a Naganadel so that Naganadel does survive the turn. Or gets knocked out. So he only takes one less prize. Though he hasn't played... He's played one Guzma. I mean... I don't think the odds are, like, too great. But we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. I don't think these odds are too great. He probably has Guzma. I send you a trade. I'm giving you Sceptile GX for four Lost Thunder packs. It's Rainbow Rare. All right, Terry, I will accept that in just a moment. Well, after this game. My man, Fury. Yo, Lou, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we're going to be testing out Lost Thunder decks. Yeah, I guess we have to Burnicles him. And we... I mean, actually, it's probably better to go into Poipul. Because we need Naganadel. It's an important piece of the deck. So we'll knock him out. He gets the Wishful Baton. I mean, there's not much he can move to. He could... I, I guess he could, like, move to Vikavolt. Knock me out with Electro Cannon just to, like, um, say, hey, you don't want to take out Vikavolt, you want to deal with Rayquaza. But if he doesn't Guzma me this turn, we'll knock him out with Lapras. And our hand is good enough, as long as the Field Blower me. We haven't uh, he brought out Marshadow. Well, I guess he's retreating it. But our hand is good enough to really... And he has Guzma, of course he does. But he's actually KOing Suicune, which is what I wanted him to do, because we can't one-shot him anymore, so this is actually fine. Though it's getting to the point where the game might be over very soon. Oh, he's actually putting more energy on Rayquaza. And he's doing treasure. Okay, questionable. If he has another Wishful Baton, which I don't think he does, he's already played two. And the game's probably going to end. Okay, no, just a Dragon Break knockout. That's fine. We are going to be able to knock him out with Lapras this turn. Lapras will not get KO'd unless he has, like, another... Guzma play with Vikavolt, but we might be able to make a decent play comeback thingy, Maduder, whatever you want to call it. The comeback, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a comeback, 
but we could we can make like a big stance this turn. Okay, so what do I want to do? Can't really disrupt them. So we just gotta hope those four cards doesn't give him the win somehow. Guess that's my only play. But yeah, Naganadel is coming in clutch, because see, if we didn't have Naganadel, you know, we'd be relying super heavily on Aqua Patch, and I don't like that. Does Naganadel Rayquaza work? Yeah, that could that could be a possible archetype. Rayquaza, Zorora, Naganadel, maybe. Um, okay. I kinda have to hold the hand. So I think we're just gonna get Sightseer, get rid of Ultra Ball and Brooklet Hill. I'm gonna keep the Guzma for next turn to guarantee the win. Assuming my opponent is going to try and knock me out with he might bring out Vikavolt. The only problem is, if he has a Grass-type attacker, it's game over. But, seeing all these Grass-weak Pokemon, he probably would have went for, like, a Dalmize at some point. So, I don't really know. So, I think we just gotta hope he doesn't have the game here. There's nothing on board that's really too threatening. We removed a lot of energy off the board, so even if he gets Rayquaza, it's gonna be a little hard from the Dooney thing. But this was a very good game. A little annoying, you know, I got a little cheesed about that Vikavolt with three hands, but... That's what that deck does. So there's Rayquaza. He does have to get rid of an energy in order to pull this off. I don't know if he's doing enough damage. He might not even have much energy left. I mean, I haven't seen Energy Recycler yet, so I don't know. Uh, rip. He had a switch. That's pretty bad. Oh, but he has to Tempest. Oh, and we somehow pulled off a win. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. We somehow, somehow just scraped by and won the game. What in the world? I, okay, I'll take it. I, I will take it. That was a pretty good game. Holy cow. I don't, I'm amazed by that win, man. I'm amazed. Oh, all right, let's see. What do we got? 10 coins rip. All right. Yeah, that was a pretty good win. Pretty good win. I mean, you kind of, like, is a pretty good matchup. Ooh, which I think a trade went through. Oh, no, 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 the private offer. Okay, I'll accept that. But that was a great match. Whew. And now I got a Suicune game I can add at the end of the video. But that was a great game. Yeah, GG is good. I like this combo is good. Yeah, Nagandel with Quagsire I think works pretty well. Alright, so Rainbow Rare Sceptile for four packs. I will take that. I may just cancel my trade on pubs. There we go. Alright, so I just need the one Sceptile for the Exeggutor deck. I have this up. If anyone wants a reversal jump up, you can accept this trade, or if not, I can always remove the Lost Thunder pack from the offer, and you can just give me the two jump bluffs and the trump breaks, if you want, and then I can build Lost March. Actually, no, I need one more jump bluff after that. Did I miss something? No, you didn't. Um, I just did a game against uh, Rayquaza Vikavol with uh, Suicune, so that was a really good game. Um, Alright, so we can now play an Alolan Exeggutor um, Sceptile deck, now that we have the Sceptile, so shout out to you. Thank you for that trade what was your name terry yeah thank you terry for the septile i do appreciate it but yeah now we can play if i can spell it we can play septile now you play some septile executor which i'm excited for since it did well in japan this is an interesting archetype um so now we got another deck we can add to the table of lost thunder decks so that was pretty good all right so we played Suicune quagsire we got a bunch of decks after, I'm going to choose this next deck, and then you guys can vote on which deck you want to see next. I can even play, like, my Ninetales decks that I did, and I can play Lugia Malamar again. So, uh, yeah, if you want to want to vote on what deck I'm going to play after this next game, leave a comment down below. I'm going to play some Alolan Exeggutor Sceptile now. But, yeah, just uh, say in the chat what deck you want to see next from my Lost Under set. You know, I got Ninetales, Buzzwool, Ninetales, Decidueye, Lugia Malamar, and then all those other decks. So, if you guys want to see that, definitely drop a comment. We can also do some deck building today, too. If you guys have any cool deck suggestions that you want to see, we could maybe build a fun deck, build, like, a cool rogue. So, uh, yeah, yo, Sleepy Snorlax, welcome. welcome. But yeah, that was a great game. That was a great game. All right, so, actually, I got to put that I gotta put that file into my hard drive. Suicune S game. We'll call it Suicune S game. All right, so, let's see how this Sceptile Exeggutor deck works. I have not played it yet. I haven't even seen gameplay of it, so it's all going to be new to me. No problem. Thanks for everything you do for the community. Feels good to be able to give back. Yeah, thanks, Terry. I do appreciate all of the kind words and the support. I do appreciate it. Lugia Malamar. Oh, yeah, we can look at that. Imagine Naganadel with Darkrai EX. Yeah, that could be that could be strong. Naganadel with, like, energy switch combos is, like, really fun to play. Okay, so what do we do? We obviously dropped Shuckle. 
for three energies. We'll get rid of fairy, lightning, water, I guess. So let's just see what we prize. So we prize and execute. All our executors are there. We got our grow vials. We do have septile. All right. Yeah, everything seems intact. I might as well attach to Trico, I guess. Uh, I have enough HP to survive a hit from Lele. And we can Lily for eight. Or six, sorry. Not eight, but you get what I mean. Ooh, we got a net ball. This is, or yeah, nest ball. Net ball. Net nest ball. Isn't, I swear, isn't nest ball a thing? I don't know. Alrighty then. We're going to grab, I guess, Fulmantis. Yeah, Fulmantis. Yeah, we got Polarantis. That's fine. We'll see if we get Sceptile into play next turn. If not, we should be okay. And we'll just wait on the shrine. I don't think the Situate plays any counter stadium, but who knows. Can you make a Typhlosion deck? I can sleepy. I actually do have a Typhlosion deck built. I don't know. I can't remember what I'm missing, but it's Typhlosion Malamar, I think, with Turdinator. So, yeah, I might play that too. I, I think the deck's, like, already made. I just, I don't think I've, like, saved it yet since. So I, think, I know I was missing, like, a Typhlosion, but then I pulled it in the pack opening video I did. So, I do have that deck, so I, I can look at that in a minute. But yeah, there's a lot of fun decks to play in this new set. It's kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy. But next turn, we can do a lot. We can probably do Sightseer. Then try and get, like, a Lolan Executor or something. Take a knockout here. Ooh, there's Swampert. That's fine. Swampert we can deal with thanks to, um, you know, being weak to grass. Oh, just a Lily for two. Pretty unfortunate turn for my opponent. But I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to pretend that that hand does not probably have a Decidueye Rare Candy. Let's see. Okay, we got Cynthia. I don't think he's playing a counter stadium. I'm just going to drop this down now so I don't draw it. I might actually just do Cynthia, if I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of don't want to get rid of anything with Sightseer there. Okay, we didn't find a Grow Vile. That kind of sucks, but we can actually knock him out, so who cares? kind of regret putting the Choice Band on, but I was hoping we'd maybe get like a Sceptile Rare Candy. But we'll knock him out, 120 damage, take out this Rowlet, and now there's no Decidueye Threat on board anymore. Now there is no Decidueye Threat, so we are golden. Are you going to try Tapu Koko with Nagandel? Yeah, I just need to get some Zororas, and that deck will be a thing. Mimikyu, Greninja could be fun. Oh yeah, I never thought of that be like meme. I always saw Mimikyu was like, oh, you have to play with Tapu Koko. But that could be a fun deck. Yeah, I do need to try out Mimikyu eventually. I want to try out every GX in this entire set. Can I see this list afterwards? Yeah, sure, Devin. It's pretty much, like, it's very identical to the Japanese list, but I, th I made a few changes. Okay, so we're just going to keep putting the tools down, because um, we feel blowers. He has to at least keep one choice because He probably doesn't want to see this in play. I'm tempted to judge him. I'm going to go for it. Okay, we got another Shuckle. That's pretty lit. Actually got a really good hand here. We can do Lily next turn. We'll just drop the other Shuckle, just... Dump as much energy as we can. Just I don't want to get rid of any more grass, so we'll just get rid of the remaining energies. I mean, we have some filler shuckles on the bench, but that's fine. And we'll just knock them out. We're not going to get killed by Decidueye next turn, so we're golden. Ultra Ball is hype. But yeah, this this Alolan Executor deck, man, it's something else. This Alolan, somehow Alolan Executor in the past few weeks has already become a very powerful archetype in both Standard and Expanded. It it's kind of crazy how popular Alolan Exeggutor has gotten in the past few weeks. I want to pull a uh, Full Art Judge. Yeah, same. That's El Judge and Elm are like the two desired ones I think you need to pull. Ooh, that's I did not want to see this card in play, and I'm glad it's gone. Okay. Me and an artwork. Nice. I, I don't think there's any like car, Pokemon card that resembles me in terms of like the trainer. Ooh, we actually did judge him into the rare candy, but, 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 we're not getting killed this turn. We'll see where he puts the 20 damage. Yep, I figured he was going to put it on something like Shuckle. I'm actually, I'm fine with that. Shuckle is kind of just sitting on the bench at this point doing nothing. No attack either, that's really good. I'm just going to keep playing Choice Bands down. Might as well just Ultra Ball for Grovile. And just go from there. We got the combo set up. We got Grovile in play. We can grab a Lolan Exeggutor. Oh my gosh. Everything is coming together. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's no Rare Candies deck. So earlier in the game, when I wanted to get a Sceptile, I don't have Rare Candies, so I'm an idiot. Alright, whatever. 
this is perfectly fine. We our board site is literally perfect. All we need to do next turn is just get Sceptile GX in play. And we're hitting him for 170 damage with Choice Band, Max Energy, Shrine, Lorantis. Holy cow, Exeggutor is insane. I see your comment everywhere. Who, mine more is? Or are you talking to someone in the chat? It's not really comment on that many videos other than my own. Alright, so I don't think my opponent can really win this at this point. I mean, this thing's so heavily damaged. We'll see. The thing with this Executor deck is, as long as I assault him with, like, these Sceptiles, Executors, you know, it's not going to do much. Oh, he did bump the Shrine. That's fine. Perfectly fine with that. But this game's going pretty well. This deck is kind of evil. This is evil. So it's going to actually retreat into Vulpix. Okay. We have Guzma. Nothing has for a tree, right? Yeah, okay. He's still hitting Shuckle. I'm actually, I'm okay with him just knocking out Shuckle. I don't even want that in play. I need, I want to get room for another Trico or a, uh, another Execute, so that's fine. That is fine by me. Alright, so, let's see, now what? He's gonna Ultra Ball. He's gonna do Beacon this turn, too, but he's only gonna have two cards in his hand, so we'll have to see what he gets. Ooh, he had to sacrifice two of his energies. That's pretty bad. But if I can top deck an energy here, we can just uh, knock out Decidueye. And I mean, at that point, it's GG. It is GG. So he's gonna get a second Rowlet. That's fine. I'm more surprised he didn't get another Vulpix. That's fine. So it's gonna do Beacon. But again, if we can draw energy, we'll knock out that Exeggutor. And uh, we will be good from there. Oh, he didn't grab nine tails or anything. And we top decked an energy. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel bad. Now, I could evolve Sceptile here. Uh, there's no Ultra Beast in play. We're just going to Sunshine Grace for Sceptile GX. Just get this big boy in play. Get the big boy in play. I'm going to try out more Sceptile GX variants eventually down the road when I get more Sceptiles. And yeah, we'll just Tropical Shake knock him out. Which is really good. So I think he has Rare Candy in his hand, right? He's only played one. But yeah, we're basically like going to win. I don't see how we're going to lose at this point. I just won against Blasafion with Swampert. Yeah, that's a pretty pretty easy win. Um, especially when you're playing Swampert. Which requires him to actually overextend his uh, attack. He has to do 200 unless he plays Beast Energy. Have you thought of Vespaquin in this deck? Oh well, yeah, that could work. But uh, we'll look at Vespaquin later on eventually. Um, hello, yo... Saru Watari, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. And how you doing? How are you doing? Okay, so he took the first KO on my Shuckle, which is fine. I wanted to, I want to be able to put down another Pokemon. But again, I don't know what I'm going to do. He's got no energies on Decidueye. He's already got rid of what two, three DCs, two. It's you know pretty bad. But hopefully, running some Blasafion when I record that Suicune video, probably after the stream. So he's gonna grab a Lele. Another Max Poach gets discarded. I'm wondering, is he even playing a Lolan Ninetales with the Fairy type? I didn't really get to see his types, because I think I was doing something with the, the uh, video file for that Suicune game, but I'm wondering, because two Max Potions is quite a bit, but I'm assuming he's playing that build. So he's going to Lily. Okay. He is playing a lot of his resources, a lot of his supporters, a lot of his DCs. Oh, he found the Grass Energies. That's pretty big. All right, he's going to do Beacon. Let's see. The one thing I guess I'm worried about is Alolan Ninetales with uh, Ice Path. And, oh, he is, he's threatening that. That's not good. <laughs> you don't fuck up with Shuckle? That was a good one. That was a good one. All right, so we'll put down you. We do have a Netball, which I think I'll play. Which I will play. I'll grab Trico, I think. I might attach here. Hold on. What could we do with Sceptile? We could actually mock cut him and stall him out. That seems like a good idea. Alright. We're going to let him knock me out next turn. Or actually, no, he's not going to knock me out. That's right. I'm tempted to do... I, I know this list plays two stretchers. So what I'm thinking of doing here is Sightseer away these these three. Get rid of Trico and Lillian Executor. Shuffle them back. 
and try and maybe get Guzma to like try and knock out Lele. I think we have to do that. I could have gotten rid of Sceptile, but it's fine. Okay, we didn't get what we were looking for. I think we just knock him out. We'll save the Rescue Stretcher for next turn. I feel like Lorantis is decent with the new Prism Stadium and promo Lorantis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of healing going on there. A lot of healing. That's something also we can look at eventually. I'm not sure why, but it's so hard to make a Sceptile GX Focus deck. It's kind of weird. Like, I don't really think this can work by itself. Its damage output is awkward. You have some good cards like Lorantis to support it. But yeah, it is a little awkward of a card. But I think Sceptile's potential is there. Maybe as in like a Grass Toolbox deck like what we're playing is probably what Sceptile's better in. As opposed to like a straight Sceptile GX deck. I think it's better in a more Toolbox based deck. So I don't know. But all we need to do is just draw a Guzma, which we still have a couple left, and we can win the game on that Lele, hopefully. But I mean, even if not, we can just retreat into you and just knock him out. We can mock cut him, and uh, we're going to run him out of DCs. I guess he could Hollow Hunt, but even then, that's not a turn where he's damaging me, which he has to do at this point, considering I just need to take one prize to win the game. Oh, he can Snipe Execute. I didn't realize that. I actually hope he doesn't. Though he probably will, but that's fine. I can stretch the guy back. Technically, I can't put Execute in play, but it does force him to have to, like, not deal with the Execute. Because it's like, oh, if I snipe the Execute, I'm going to get KO'd because I can't Ice Path the damage off. So, we should do that. But, uh, welcome everyone in the stream. 44 viewers, welcome. Okay, so. We'll stretch or shuffle these three back, for sure. Get you, you, and I guess you. Can't really play even Trico down. Uh, we'll grab Execute. So we have our other Guzma. We just attack him this turn and say, well, he is actually going to take an extra prize. Just realized. Alright, we'll Sightseer. We probably don't need you anymore, so we'll just get rid of that Sceptile. There's Guzma, so we're good for next turn. I guess we'll attach the Sceptile. We'll just Tropical Shake it. We'll basically say, hey, if you don't Ice Path knock me out, and you decide to snipe you and you to take two prizes, I win. So, unfortunately, we're doing enough damage from knock me out with Ice Path, but it doesn't matter. We have uh, Guzma. The Return of Vile Plume with that Girl Vile can search out Grass Pokemon or Quirk Decidueye. Yep. Yeah, that's also, that's a possibility. I actually have a cool Vile Plume expanded deck in mind with the Fairy Alola Ninetales. So I might, I might actually build that today on stream, because that deck seems really fun. Are you playing Max Potion this list? No, I am not, Be Like Meme. It is a good idea, but we do have that new stadium. Which I don't, I don't even think I have the stadium in here either. Something I guess to consider would be that grass stadium in this deck. But again, this is very much inspired from the Japan list, which I don't think played the, the grass stadium. I think Shrine might be better in here. Ooh, he's actually going to Guzma me. Okay. Wait, so if he Ice Paths... He needs to do 230 damage to me this turn to knock me out. But again, we have all our executors, so one Guzmo. Actually, if he knocked out Lorantis, we wouldn't have the win on Lele this next turn if he ice passed me here. I don't think he knocks me out. No, he's 20 short. You can't choice band ice path either, which is good. So he is going to actually fall short on the knockout here. We could actually mock cut him too. Yeah, just 170. We're going to survive. Let's see what he's trying to do, though. He technically does win next turn, almost. Almost wins. But uh, we could just Guzma, bring out that Lele, and just knock him out. And that's that. Pretty good match. Came, he actually got a little close to winning because of the double Decidueye. Um, I probably shouldn't have played that Execute down, but whatever. That game was fine enough. Though he did come close. Alright, let's see. Let's get a bunch of coins. 25. Alright. So we are actually able to purchase a pack now. Which is lit. Oh, even we can purchase two packs from the shop. That's pretty good. So we'll buy some packs here. Um, ooh, I haven't even lost yet either. I just realized. So my win streak is still up, which is also pretty good. Um, but yeah, I did ask you guys, what deck did you want to see next? I did see someone say Lugia Malamar. Um, so I'm going to open up a couple packs here, guys. And then you can decide what I want to play. Do you, you want to see Genesect Magnezone again and El Genesect? Uh, do you want to see the Sigilith and Pals deck I have? Do you want to see any of the other decks I've already made videos on? Um, we'll we'll look at that Typhlosion deck soon, too. GG, yeah, that was a good game, Sleepy Snorlax. That was a good game. It, he kind of got a little bit close to winning. Um, if I actually didn't evolve that uh, Execute, and I didn't get a, and I didn't win the game that turn, he would have had, I think, one prize left to take. 
So that would not have been good. So we get two packs of Lost Thunder to open up. Looking for some good pulls. Cough, cough, let's see All right, let's see. So first pack in. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Fairy Charm. And a Macargo! That is amazing. This is something I also needed to pull. And I just need one more Macargo now. So I can build a Macargo idea deck. That's pretty good. Probably just go on pubs. And next pack in. Nice, a fourth Naganadel. That's, okay, that was really good. Pretty good pulls. Not bad, not bad. So, that was pretty good. Yeah, Typhlosion. So, while you guys are, if you guys want to decide what I want to play next, uh, I'm going to look at that Typhlosion deck I built. Where is it? Malamar, Typhlosion. So this is the list that I got going on. Malamar, Typhlosion. Um, so, yeah, we can definitely play this at some point. I want to do most of the GXs before I really get into the non-GX heavy decks other than Lost March. Um, but other than that, yeah, we can look at this. I think maybe we can take out a candy and just throw in a... Take out Quilava, throw in a third candy. I think we might have to do that. I don't know. Everything everything in this list... Maybe we take out a Guzma. No. Everything... This is the odd part. Everything we kind of need to keep. It's not much I can really think of to remove. Hello? Yo, Isaac. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. And yo, Philip. Welcome to the stream also, brother. Alright, so yeah, this is the Typhlosion Malamar deck I got. And uh, we can always play it too, if you guys do want to see that. And of course, since we're playing Typhlosion, we gotta play the Cyndaquil coin. We just have to. We just have to. Alright, so. That was pretty good. And then, and we got one more Macargo. We can probably do a Macargo deck too. A lot of decks we can look at here. A lot of decks. Alright, so. I, I actually, well, I'll show you guys what my Sigilith deck is. So this Sigilith deck, it's a troll deck, but what the whole idea of the deck is, you just have all these, like, like metal-type unit energy attackers. Obviously, Sigilith with that ability, Mirror Counter. Very evil. Tyran deck, yeah, I actually, I still need to get one more Tyran Charge GX, um, so I can't look at that right now. Um, but, the, yeah, this deck is pretty fun. Garbodor. Dialga is, like, one of the true MVPs in this type of deck. When you're playing against an Evolution deck, Dialga will actually win you the game. Or not win you the game, but it can get to the point where it's like you devolve you devolve on this one shot Gardevoir. This one shot Gardevoir, which is insane. This Dialga is really underrated in my opinion. Really underrated. Um like just de evolving spam is just insane. Um I can show you guys the Tyrantar deck. Where is it? Tyrantar Celebi. Um so yeah, I just need to pull one more I just need to get one more Tyrantar and then I can actually build this deck. But yeah, I do have a Tyrantar Celebi deck. So, I really wanted to make this, I really wanted to make this deck, yeah. It is, I mean, it is cheap. If you already have, like, everything, you can probably build it. Uh, let's just play some Nagandal Genesect. I want to, I'm just going to play this, honestly. Um, it's, I mean, Malamar Typhlosion is pretty cheap. If you already have, like, the Turts and the Malamars, all you really need is get Typhlosion, which Typhlosion is probably really cheap. It's probably not that expensive. Like, Typhlosion is such a niche card. You can probably get it. Meganium in this set, though, is pretty cool, too. Meganium's pretty cool. I don't think it's great, but it definitely has something going for it. So, we're up against Gravy playing, it looks like, Zoropod or Zoric Decidueye. Ooh, and he, this guy's got the, uh, he's got the World 2015 box, which is pretty expensive and rare. Hey, yo, Carmelo, welcome to the stream. Can you do Zorora? Unfortunately, one, I can. I actually don't have any Zororas right now. They're pretty expensive. Same with Blasafion. Naganadel and Stack Attack is working here. That could be a fun deck. Maybe with this, with the other Naganadel, but I don't know. Uh, so we'll open with Genesect. This matchup might be tough. Zoark, Decidueye, mm, I'm not, I don't know, that matchup's a little scary, I guess. We'll see. Um, the only thing I would consider taking out of this deck is probably the energy, the fine energies and the buzzles. Ooh, it's a Zoropod deck. So it's not a Zork Decidueye deck. Hmm. That might be worse. Ooh, he's not playing Elm's Lecture. Is there any Elm's Lecture going on? No Elm's Lecture. Hashtag outdated. I'm kidding. But Elm's Lecture is good in this deck. Even though you can't grab Wimpod, grabbing Triple Zoro is still insanely good. Alright, so we top deck DCE. Uh, okay. I guess we'll attach the active so we can potentially attack him next turn. We'll, uh, Sightseer, get rid of these energies and the Ultra Ball. Another point pull is always appreciated. And we pass. And then next turn, we can start charging up. Try and maybe build up that baby Buzzwool, because we're going to need it against Zoark. 
But that baby Buzzle, I don't really think is needed in this Nagandel Genesect deck. I don't think it's needed. I do not think it's needed. Alright, so he got the Glisspod down. He actually didn't retreat, so he can't really do much with it this turn unless he, like, switches. This is going to be, this is a little intimidating just because of these sleeves. These sleeves are expensive. These are rare sleeves. These are the alternate world sleeves from 2015. They are not cheap. So, a little intimidating. I'm not really, this matchup might be pretty hard too. You don't really one shot with this deck a lot of the time. So, Ace Roll is really annoying. Yeah, I pulled the Tyranitar too and it looks so good, but it's stage two and that never works. Yeah, especially because it's, the energy is so costly on it. It needs like three energies to work. The best way to play it, I think, is just with like Shining Celebi and Larvitar, so you can copy Larvitar's attack, um, which does like 80 if they're already damaged with 30 damage counters on them. Ooh, okay, Skin Nest Ball. I think we're safe this turn. I don't think he's going to be doing much. He might just first impression me for one energy and then finish me off with Armor Press. That would be a little annoying. Ooh, Deoxys. That's actually a little scary. Psychic does one shot Naganadel, and he is going to do that. All right. Of course. So we're going to slap the Wishful Baton on. Um, okay, so obviously we want to do Charging Up. Right? Yeah. Or might, maybe not. Before we Charging Up, let's Cynthia. We could possibly pull off like a double energy attachment. Oh, just barely got there. Oof. Just barely got where we needed to go. But again, Netball, we wouldn't have attacked him this turn. Well, we could have, I guess, but I wouldn't want to waste energy switch. That's fine. We could do this. Put down the baby buzz. Um, I might get fuel blowered. A Naganadel seems pretty safe this turn. I think. Do I move the energy to the buzzle now? I can build, I want to build up swing around to like want maybe take out Zoark GX. But this actually this deck doesn't play any um doesn't play any choice bands. It does have beast energy though. I think we just Gaia Blaster him for 70. Maybe I should have put Bulu down. But he's gonna armor press me, so we're still not doing much damage. T Tar with Dark Patch. Yeah, that probably would work too. I think Nine Tails would work good as a stall deck. Yeah, I was I, I actually was in the process of making a Zoark Alola Ninetales disruption y stall deck before, but I don't even know if I even want to play that deck because it's probably not very fun to play or play against. This guy gets double heads on timer ball and I always get like <laughs> quad tails. Okay. I still think this matchup's pretty terrible. This is still a terrible matchup. We Tanky Pokemon, we don't do much damage early on. Ace Rolla is really hard to deal with. So this Zoropod matchup is really bad. I don't think it's good. Dude, Quagsire and Naganadel's busted. Yeah, MP, I was just playing that earlier in the stream. I was playing Naganadel, Quagsire, Suicune, Lapras. And we managed to beat Rayquaza. So there's something to the deck. There is something to the deck. All right, so my opponent seems to have a pretty good grasp on the game. If he doesn't actually KO me this turn, I'm going to be safe. I think this deck just needs, I think this deck needs Professor Kikui. Honestly, I think we need to add Professor Kikui to this deck. We don't play Choice Ban. Uh, instead, we just play Quad Wishful Batons. Because the idea of the deck is, you know, they knock out Genesect and Naganadel. You move all the energies to a new attacker. And you just kind of keep that up. And Field Blower is very scarce right now. Unergies, Feramosa, and White Kyurem. I've seen, I actually was playing against that the other day. Ooh, he's actually Guzman me. Okay. He's not knocking me out, and I can actually take Liza back into Genesect, which I might as well do. I'm going to play the Bulu down. I'm actually, yeah, I think I, he's obviously scared of this, but I'm actually just going to play the Taint Liza, go back into Genesect. Would be nice to hit him harder than 70 damage, but, you know, we can still attack him. Sylveon and Ninetales seems pretty good. Yeah, Ninetales GX could be a really good card to have in Gardevoir, too, because it gets you rare candies. Busted? Yeah, I don't know. The White Kyurem Aqua Patch deck I did see. I was playing against that yesterday. Or was it Thursday? But I, I have played against that deck. Well, maybe it was in a video, actually. I can't remember. So we are going to get KO'd this turn. Um, 
That's fine. I mean, as long as Buzzle's safe, we can try and maybe get a turn where we knock out a Zoark with Sledgehammer. We do have Stretcher, though, so we can always get Buzzle back. So it's not like Buzzle's, you know, it's not like he's out of the game forever just because he's already heavily damaged. The hardest thing to deal with, though, might be the Deoxys and the Galissapods because of Ace Rollas. Ace Rolla is going to be a pain. But yeah, there's a lot of fun combos with Naganadel. Alright, so... I think I'm going to build up Bulu. We're not, we're not going to be able to take him out with Genesect, honestly. I don't see that happening. I'm going to build up Bulu instead. Because we can actually take advantage of Heavy Punch. The only problem is, you know... Okay. I feel confident we're going to find Energy, so I'm just going to do Cynthia. Yeah, perfect. Netball's nice. Oh, no other Naganadel, though. I'm tempted to grab Shuckle. Tempted to grab Shuckle here. Right? If I grab Shuckle... Never mind. We have no energy... No. What am I saying? Okay, I think I do... It's either I grab Shuckle or another Genesect. I don't think we need the other Genesect right now. What does the Bulu do? I'll show you in just a minute, Sleepy, because we're actually going to be using his heavy punch attack. Uh, yeah, do we grab the Shuckle? We can start to build up Nagandel a bit more, and I do like that, so I am actually... Yeah, we'll grab Shuckle and then take advantage of Energy Reload. Um, Bulu does have the attack Heavy Punch, which, um, yeah, we'll get rid of all the energies, which does 20 damage times the amount of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So if they have a full bench, you hit for a 200, which one-shots stuff like Lycanroc GX, so it's really good. It's a good bag of attacker. It's got 130 HP too, so it's pretty good on the tank side. So you can finally get things rolling. And we're going to hit him for 100. Not going to knock him out. He's probably going to do another Ace Rolla, which is really annoying. We'll see though. But yeah, Bulu's a really nice bag of attacker. Um, the deck has Bulu, Genesect, Shiny Lugia. Just a bunch of like baby attackers. Unfortunately though... A matchup like Zoropod is really bad. If he ace rollers again this turn, we're in trouble. We'll see if he KOs me. He's going to need to commit to a crossing cut, which I guess is one positive. And you can also use Wild Tackle, but Bulu can, like, do big things to, like, Lycanroc. Just, you know, got a good amount of HP. can take a hit. Um, so, yeah, it's a good backup attacker. It's a cheaper attack, too. You can hit 100 for two energies, as opposed to not getting much on board with Gaia Blaster. That's the logic. If anything, I want to throw in a second of these guys, because Bulu's really good. You kind of see how it's working here against the Zoropod matchup. Okay, no Goose, just just a Goose Maze. He's going to knock out Buzzle, right? Yep, that's fine. I don't think we're going to knock him out this turn with um, Buzzle. I don't know if we can get Stretcher and Guzma. We can't, yeah. Let me just bring out Bulu. We're going to have to kind of just say, hey, rip. Um, so... I really want to knock this thing out. Ace roll a... No, don't ace roll at me. Don't ace roll at me today. All right, we'll charge him up. We'll energy reload. Hope for the best. We well, see we get the other Naganadel here. Um, I guess we'll touch this. I don't want... I'm tempted to do wild tackle and two-shot him. But if he gets DC, he just armor press knocks me out. So I don't like that. I think I'm still going to attach this, though. No, we might as well just go all in and just attach multiple energies so we can wish a baton to Genesect, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, we got another Gandel. Marshadow. Ooh, that could be huge. That could be very big. I'm tempted to do Marshadow here. But I have Guzma, and I want to keep that. But I am tempted to Marshadow this hand away, so maybe he doesn't do Ace Rolla. Let's go for it. Let's play Risky. I think we have to play Risky. Have you tried Giraffe Freak Slow King with the Unknown Missing? No, I, fortunately I haven't. The Slow King is an interesting card, though, and Giraffe Rig. Okay. And uh, we'll just Heavy Punch him, because I don't want to damage myself. We'll see if Marshadow does anything. He's going to get an extra s 5 cards this turn. We'll see if he gets any good... Like Ace Rollers. He hasn't played a single DC yet. He's probably going to find DC. He could probably knock out Bulu this turn. As long as it doesn't feel blower me. All this energy is going on to a Genesect. Okay, 
If we can win this game, it's just kind of down to if he heals at the right moment. And if he doesn't, things go well. Things go well. Hmm. Let's see. Any Ace Rollers? I think these are all Pilots play too. Oh, just a Guzma. On Genesect, okay. Now I kind of wish... Okay, can we top that Guzma here? Can we top that Guzma? Oh, wow, we actually top decked it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We're gonna knock this out. I did not expect to top that Guzma there. I will take it. I'm actually tempted to do another Wolfshell Baton. I think, yeah, I am. Just in case, just in case he does another Guzma. Well, heavy punch knock him out. All right, there we go. There we go. That was a really good top deck. Let's see what our two prizes are. Lily and an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is great. I need to get another Genesect online. How many Tapu Lays do you think will be uh, used per deck in the new standard format? One or two? Probably just one for now. I mean, even Lost March plays like one Lele. I'd say just still one. It's, it's a risky card in this current format, but I think it's still like really good to have. Like, the effect of getting... Any supporter is too good. I think he's out of Guzma, so Genesec should be safe. So this 130 HP attacking deck is like coming in handy against the Zork deck. It's kind of nuts. I think though this deck needs a fourth Genesect. I actually think we need to get Shiny Lugia online also. There's Ace Rolla. So that should be his last one, hopefully. Hopefully. The idea of the deck is to put your opponent's supporters in the Lost Zone and then win with Unknown. Yeah. We could see some... I could, we could see that. That would be fun to try out a bit later on, Caden, but uh, I do like that idea. Okay. Maybe in Expanded that'd be good. There's a lot of more supporters in Expanded, I'd say. I don't know. Two more decks can one-shot 170 HP stuff. Exactly, yeah. Lele is such a big liability now. Like, having it in play loses you the game a lot of the time, though you do need it to get the supporter you need, like a Guzma. But at the same time, it's like, the liability. And just that. Okay. Probably going to retreat next turn, knock me out Glissopod. I think we just heavy punch him. Only for 80, though. I could risk it and play Wild Tackle, and then I knock myself out. I think what we'll do is... I might burn an energy switch now, but no, I, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to energy reload to Genesec, just start to build him up. I guess we're going to do Sightseer. We're going to get rid of, I guess, one Lily. I'm going to keep that Ultra Ball, though. Okay, rip. I was hoping that would give us something good. That's fine. We can still hit him hard enough to finish him off with Genesec. Bulu has put in a lot of work this game. This game's a bit closer. As long as he's out of Ace Rollers now... I'm going to be happy. But he still has Crossing Cut, which is really bad. So it's not over. Oh, he has a fourth Guzma. Why do you have a fourth Guzma? Why do you have a fourth Guzma? Oh, he actually brought out this Glissopod. Okay. I see what he's doing. Now we kind of want to draw our other Guzma. He's low on cards. I don't know if he's playing Executor. He hasn't played a Stretcher yet. He might be playing Palpad. So I'm not counting him out. There's Field Blower, rip. How many, that was what, our third? Yeah. That's pretty bad, Field Blower. Hmm. I would say hit him with Deox or Naganadel, but... I guess Naganadel, like, we're not doing much. We can't even activate Turning Point yet. But yeah, we're just not getting what we need. I might get rid of an energy switch. I kind of want to keep Lily. We're going to have Shiny Lugia, though, at this point in time. I think, yeah, it's whatever. Shiny Lugia is fine. Ooh, Stretcher. Nice. All right, we can play Stretcher. I guess get back Buzzwool in this guy. Sure. So, we charging up.
Oh, maybe I should have grabbed Genesect instead. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I could retreat into Bulu. Hmm. I don't know. No Wishful Baton kind of sucks, too. Not gonna lie. Maybe I should have got rid of Lily and kept that other energy switch. Yeah, I don't know. I think I've kind of given up at this point. In all honesty, I've kind of given up. I have sort of given up. Though I probably should have grabbed Genesect over Shiny Lugia, honestly. I just hatched a level, a shiny level 5 Charmander. Yo, nice, Wimpo. Nice. That's pretty sick. I, I have a bunch of eggs I need to do on Pokemon Go. Um, but nice. That's pretty cool. I, I've, I've opened Pokemon Go a few times, and I have seen, like, they've added, I think, Gen 4 now. Because I've seen, like, Baneary, I've seen Drifloon, and Bidoof, and that's, yeah, that's just, that's just not nice. That's not fun. Ah, uh, yeah, that game, that's not going anywhere. I'm giving up. That match was complete annoying. Uh, Ace Rolla, why do you exist? I hate Ace Rolla. Alright, let's go hop over to some Genesect Magnezone now. I'm tempted to try this out. This is, so let's play four copies of Choice Band. We're playing a heavy count of Choice Band just so that we can obviously attack heavy with Genesect. Oh, shoot! My boy, Aura Bomb! Yo! Look at that. Look at that, guys. Aura Bomb. Yo, that's sick. That is sick. Shout out to Aura Bomb. Shouts out to you. Yeah, that's sick. I wonder if he, is he streaming, actually? This be a little streamer battle. All right, let's see what our opening hand is going to be. So we got the Genesect. Um, okay. I think we start Dustmane? No, we'll start Genesect. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It's going to be a bit of a YouTuber battle. It's going to be hype. Um, Yeah, I'll put down Prism Star. We'll have to Ultra Ball away. Probably maybe Magneton and maybe Dustmane. Let's see. Ooh, he's playing a Malamar deck. That's pretty fine because we are resistant to Psychic, which is pretty good. This is a pretty hype matchup, though. Oh, it's the Lugia Wars. Alright. Are you going to have any of these uh, deck lists up, sir? Yeah, yeah, Terry, if you want, after this game, I'll uh, I'll put up, I'll uh, show you guys these deck lists. Do you want to see the deck list for the Nagandel Genesect deck? I can show that. Um, oh, yeah, right. Devin wanted to see the deck list for the Lolan Executor deck. I forgot to do that. That's my bad. Ooh, a shrine. Okay. We should be able to maybe outstadium him. We do have three Mount Coronets in this list. And I think we have one Field Blower, so we should be okay to prevent Shrine. We'll see. Genesect does have an ability, though, so we gotta watch out for Argent Wing. That's gonna be pretty brutal. I think maybe Dustmane is gonna be the main attacker here. So he's gonna attach a Psych Energy to Lugia. And, okay, just a pass. All right, so let's see here. This draw is going to be big. All right, so, oh, that's fine. So, yeah, we're going to get rid of, I think, Magneton and the Metal Energy, because we do probably need Dust Main. We're going to have to grab Tapu Lele. This kind of goes back to the last game. We were talking about how Tapu Lele is not good to have him play, but, yeah, we kind of have to grab him. And we can do a nice big Lily here. Lily, Lily, Lily. All right, let's see. So we have our ooh, one, one Magma is prized. Okay, we got one Cutie Fly. How many Mount Coronets? Oh, we prized one. We didn't prize our Field Blower. I'm actually hoping we bumped the Shrine this turn, because we had to put down three GXs here. But if we can hit Magnemite here, we're guaranteed to get the turn two Magnezone. Perfect. Um, the odds of us getting KO'd by Guzma is a little high, so just to play it safe, I'm going to double down on my Magnemites. I'm going to just play it safe and double down on Magnemite. I would grab another... I'd grab Cutie Fly there if I didn't. But I don't want to walk into, like, him Guzman. You know, I think we just attach to Genesect and pass. And then we can at least bust shot, or burst shot, sorry, bust shot. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> burst shot, one shot, so that's good. So he's got a treasure. He's going to get rid of that energy. I mean, even Magnezone is good to uh, attack Lugia because it does actually do enough to one shot it. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't know what else to expect in in his deck. Mm, Lugia EX, Lugia GX, sorry, might be there. Maybe Onyx, but those aren't really like big threats to us. Now he's gonna evolve Malamar. Okay, I don't think he had a Guzma, but yeah, again, it's good to play it safe because you never know. He could have had like a DC Guzma Argent Wing knockout Magnemite, and then you know, rest in peace, Rare Candy Magnezone. 
But yeah, we gotta bump this shrine as soon as possible. We are taking a lot of damage here. Might actually be a little too late. We're gonna have 150 damage on us, so a choice ban would let Argent Wing one-shot Genesect. That's pretty bad. I would like deck list. Yeah, Devin, after this match, I uh, I can put up the deck list. I can show you guys the deck list I got. But yeah, I do have... I forgot I forgot to show you the Alolan Zator deck list. My bad. But yeah, I mean, I was so focused in that game. I kind of just forgot. But yeah, after this. It just remind me, too, after the game, because I might not remember. This could be a long game. Oh, he's got the ho -Oh. I was saying there might not be a single attacker that can threaten us, but no, ho -Oh actually might be the big game changer. Wow. What does that ability do, right? If this Syrax Pokemon is knocked out by damage from opponent's attack, move up the two basic energies uh, from his Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. Ooh. That's actually pretty scary. Yeah, this sh this Shining Ho-Oh might be big, but we got the Rare Candy Magnezone. Uh, we can do Cynthia. really hope we can hit sh uh, Mount Coronet here. No, that sucks. Well, we actually can't even attack him this turn either. Rip. We're just we're just letting Genesect take the damage. We're probably gonna get knocked out. I think I just attach to Dustman. We have Fisherman. So we can like do Sun's Eclipse next turn if he doesn't like knock me out. The shrine though is putting a lot of damage on me, which I don't like. Favorite non GX Pokemon from Lost Thunder? Um, I would have to go with probably Naganadel, because there's a lot of really cool ideas you can do with Naganadel. Because that ability is really fun with energy switch and stuff and Quagsire. So yeah, Wimpo, I'm going to go with Naganda. What's yours? Actually, if anyone else wants to say what their favorite non-GX Pokemon for Lost Thunder is, just drop it in the chat. He's probably going to knock me out here. Yeah. Ooh, another Rainbow Energy. So it's up two basic energies, right? Yeah, two basics. So we knock him out with Dustmane. We remove the non-GX attacker on the board. He had the Guzma. Okay, he's got one card in hand. He'll have two with the prizes, three, so we gotta hope he might be stuck. That Shining Hobo, though, is really insane. That I that, that is scary. I did not expect that. That caught me off guard. So, how much health does he have? 110. How many energies are in the discard? 3, 60, 80, 100, 120. It doesn't matter if I knock him out Lele or Janicek, does it? Yeah, it doesn't matter what I knock him out with here. I could try and knock him out with Prism Star, but I don't have another energy to play. That's too risky. I think it's better to take the Lele knockout, to be honest. Right? 30, 60, 80, 100, 120. Yeah, I think we take the Lele knockout. Well, I mean, he'll knock me out with Arrow Force, most likely, but I'd rather lose Lele than Genesect. This is kind of why Lele, I guess, is bad. Oh. Yeah, we're just not really finding what we need. I think I'm going to Nest Ball for the uh, Cutie Fly. We're kind of getting stomped here. We got the turn to Magnezone, which is pretty hype. So yeah, we'll just do Fisherman. Get back them three energies. We can knock him out. And then he's going to be able to move one basic energy, right? Because he has the... Ooh. Yeah, because he has the... um. Well, I guess he'll find a DC. But he, yeah, he does have two rainbows on. You can't move rainbow with Shiny Ho's ability. Oh. Do I really have to click every time I want to do this? I do. No, oh, that's, that's, that's fun. Alright, so yeah, we'll just knock him out. He has a DC, he'll knock me out. We need to get rid of this Shrine, though. This Shrine is... I mean, if Shrine wasn't a play, I think we'd be in a bit of a better spot, potentially. If he KOs me this turn, the win is going to be really hard to hit. I don't even know if we can do it at that point. We just have to hope to get lucky. If I had the extra energy, it would have been better to knock him out with Sogaleo or Magnezone. But we just don't. We just don't. Can you make an unknown deck? I might, L. I might. There's a lot of cool unknown ideas with the uh, damage one, the one we gotta get six damage on the board, and there's also some really cool ones with the hand one. Um, so we might look at an unknown deck soon. Maybe not this stream, though, because I'm looking more at, like, the GXs from the set for now. I mean, we did try out that Naganadel Genesec Rogue deck, but that deck is just really cool. Okay, so, yeah, double psychic charge. So he needs one more energy. No, no, we have 50. Okay, never mind. So he knocks me out. It doesn't matter, though, because both of them would have had... I'd rather keep Genesect, because it actually one-shots him. So if I were to lose any of these two last turn and take that KO on the ho -Oh, I probably would have... Yeah, it would have been better to do with Lele. We knock out Lugia next turn. If he doesn't have another good attacker, we can target Lele. We just gotta hope to find Guzma next turn. The game ain't over. Can you make a Lost March deck? I do... I do want to do that, Connor, but... 
I still need to get uh, two jump bluffs and two trump breaks, but after that I can do it. Shrines are pain. Yeah, Shrine is a pain. It's a really good card though. There's a reason why non GX Pokemon have been able to like have such dominance recently. It's actually it it's annoying Shrine when you're playing a GX heavy deck, but it's kind of refreshing to play in a non GX heavy meta. But I do want to do uh, Lost March Connor, but yeah, I still need to get a couple guys. I do have a trade up on pubs to get all the things I need. So I pulled a reverse hall jump bluff, which is worth quite a bit, apparently. Oh, that's game. That's game. Yeah. I don't see how I can win this turn. Actually, we're going to have to attack him with, I guess, the Sogaleo. And then hope he doesn't have another Guzma. Yeah, sure. We tried. We tried. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to just attack him with the uh, with the Sogaleo. We just gotta hope we hit this other energy. We can draw a couple of cards with Lily. So that's good. Want to do that before we do Lily, just in case. I almost played Lily there. That would have been really stupid. Yeah, we just gotta hope we get this energy off this Lily for four. It's only four cards, but we can hit Mount Coronet. We can hit Energy Retrieval. So I'm feeling confident. And nice. Mount Coronet. Let's go. He'll probably bump it next turn, though, with the Shrine. I got a Jump Pluff if you need one. Yeah, I do need at least one more, but I, ha I have a trade up on pubs for my Reverse Hollow Jump Pluff for two Jump Pluffs and a Trump Break. Or, and two Trump Breaks. Um, we can put the energy somewhere else. Assuming the... Yeah, assuming this guy knocks me out. I guess we move this on to Sogaleo... Or not Sogaleo, Magnezone? I guess. Because we're going to probably want to attack with Magnezone next, I guess. I don't know. Uh, We're going to Ultra Ball now or later. We did get rid of our Magneton. I was gonna get Magneton. Now nah, we'll just we'll just Corona Impact knock him out. Yeah, to do the unknown damage expanded with Reuniclus stuff, you need to click about twenty times. It takes forever. Yeah, I'd assume. I know there's something going on with like I think Magma Secret Base, Whale Lord, Reuniclus, Unknown. There's some combo there, Wimpo. I have I've have I've, I've heard about it. I don't know how crazy it'd be to try it out. I mean, if we can get another Magnezone in play, I can see something happen, because we'll be able to attack with Magnezone. I don't think we'll be able to take enough prizes, though, to win. We're going to come close to, like, putting up a good fight. He might just have Guzma in his hand, though, even though he has played two. He might only play two, if I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I don't know if these lists will play more than, more than one or two. If he has three, though, he might have it in his hand, and then he just Guzmas the Genesect and wins. Shine really hurt me there, though. If Shine wasn't in play, I'd probably have a few more guys on board. All right, so we see the Nest Ball. Ooh, Black Ray, that could work. He could Black Ray Shrine me and win the game. Does he have it? Does my boy have it? Oh, he's intentionally active. He could Energy Drive and swing me, too, I guess, but... I mean, I, I don't really have a way to... Yeah, I don't have a way to Guzma, so that could happen. Well played. Yeah, he got it. Rip. Yeah, well played. Good game, Orbomb. Yeah, it looks like he's got the Shrine and the Black Ray play. So that's that's pretty funny. Pretty good way to win, though. So yeah, GG. Shrine did hurt us there. Yeah, I tried to play the best I could. The turn two Magnezone was good, so at least we know the consistency is there with Magnezone. So this list is consistent enough. But uh, not being able to find the Mount Coronet, I think, would really hurt us. But yeah, good game. GG. Or does he not have the Shrine? Oh, he does. Okay, yeah, GG. Good game. That, that Shine Ho caught me off guard, though. That caught me off guard. Holy cow. All right, yeah, GG. All right, so Genesect Magnezone. We had some fun with it. We didn't get to really use Genesect that much, unfortunately, but that's fine. We could probably do another game with it, but that was a pretty good game. Ooh, we got some, I forgot I had a daily metal uh, damage. That's pretty sick. So I can maybe do that. That was a good game, though. GG. Hey, man, glad I finally caught you live. Yeah, Aaron, I'm live. I'm um, testing out a bunch of decks, but yeah, shout out to you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Ooh. I, is this for the jump fluff, I think? Let's see. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang. 
Dang. All right. Yo, thanks. Who? Shout. Okay. Who? Who? Who has sent me that trade? Shout out to. You. Was it here? Yo, dog. It's pulled. Yo, nice. Yeah, I am live right now. I don't think grass types in there. But yeah, shout out to whoever sent me this trade. Shout out to you for getting my name right the first time. Yes. If I ever didn't, Aaron. I don't know. I know someone else didn't, but yeah, I got a few friends named Aaron. So like the double A Aaron is. Uh, I'm pretty used to saying, but shout out to whoever sent me this trade. Huge, huge shout out to you. Holy cow. Shout out to you. Oh my goodness. Hi, I just gave you all my GX. Yo, Swar Figa, thank you for the generous donation. Oh my goodness. Can I get some hearts in the chat? Thank you, dude. That, oh my gosh. Thank you. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Thank you, bro. Busted trade, yeah. But yeah, thanks, dude. Thank you. I mean, I probably said it like a million times, but I'm actually like blown away. Unless you want to like, unless you made a mistake, but if you actually meant it, thanks. Thank you. I do appreciate that. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Heart, yeah. Thanks, dude. Thank you. All right. So uh, we just looked at Genesec Magnezone. We tried, we tried. But yeah, this is the list. I gotta show you the Alolan Executor list too, actually. I forgot, I promised you that, I promised you. Yeah, here's the Alolan Executor list, uh, Devin. Here it is. It's pretty similar to the, um, to the Japanese list. Uh, when are you live, like, once a week? Uh, really sleepy, it's like, um, whenever, like, I get the time to stream. I, there's, I got four people living in my house, and then I'll, like, because I have people in, like, my basement apartment downstairs, um, but yeah, I try to stream as much as I can whenever I get the chance to, but I'm going to try and stream more often now if I can. Plus, like, college is going on. I got lucky. There's, I got no homework this weekend, so that was good. What do you think of Septile GX? I think it's pretty good, Aaron. Um, I don't like the oncoming set, so I'm leaving the game. Enjoy it. Uh, well, thank you so much, Swar. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, dude. I, that's awesome, man. Thank you for the full arts. Uh, what do you think it pairs well with? Really just... Alolan Executor, obviously, and then probably, like, Lorantis. Who knows? But yeah, the Sceptile definitely is... It's a good card. I think it's it's good enough. Have you built Lost March Net? Unfortunately, I haven't readied... I, I still need to get... Um, I'll show you guys the, uh, the, the Gandalf Genesec deck, I guess. Um, I haven't built Lost March yet, because I still need to get a couple of Jump Luffs, and I still need two Trump Breaks. I have a trade-up on Pubs for a uh, Reverse Hall Jump Luff for two Jump Luffs and two Trump Breaks. Hopefully, uh, that ends up going through. Show the Suicune deck list. All right, Eric. Yeah, I'll show that in a minute. But yeah, this is the list. I'm thinking of taking this guy out and throwing in either a second Genesect or fourth Genesect, a second Bulu, or maybe another Shining Lugia. But I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, actually, let's just add the Hollow Naganda because it's more blinged out. I think I'm going to remove this and just throw in Shining Lugia. So hey, this is my updated list. We're going to take out Firmosa because it does nothing. But yeah, this is the uh, the list I got for that. And uh, I'll show you the Suicune list, and then we'll get back to some matches. I don't know if it will work, uh, so I can give you all of my other interesting cards. I mean, Swar, if you do want to donate that, I mean, I would appreciate it, dude. It's up to you, though, if you want to. But yeah, here's the Sweet Kung Quagsire list I got with uh, the updated Nagandel. Nagandel changes this deck a lot because you now have an answer to Buzzle, in a way. So that's pretty nice. I feel like it's really unnecessary in eggs. Yeah. It would have been good in that Decidueye matchup, though, with the uh, DCs. But yeah, here's the Sweet Kung list. Articuno combos really well with Suicune. That's why there's one Articuno in here. Because you can use Legendary Ascent and then push Suicune back to the bench and then put it back in the deck. So that's a really good combo. If anything, you should probably maybe consider adding like two Articunos. But I don't know what you would remove. I kind of like having like a non-GX Kyogre. Uh, Dual Splash is good when you can't do Sauna Blast. But yeah, this is the uh, list I got going on for uh, the Suicune Quagsire deck. This is probably going to be my next video too. That's probably my next video. I want to play some Sigilyph Pals. Here's my Sigilyph and Pals list. Um, the deck is all about using unit energy, and you have some backup attackers like Dialga, which can add disruption. Um, if, if anything, though, maybe adding multiple Dialgas is better um, than, you know, just having Dustmane. Like, Dustmane doesn't really do much in the deck. Celesteela, it's just kind of there for filler. So, really, if anything, it's better to maybe add multiple Dialgas or Kartana. Actually, you know what? Why is Kartana done here? I just realized. I should probably put Kartana in. Cartana, you gotta go in the deck. Yeah, that there we go. Now this makes it a bit better. Boom, there you go. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, this is my yeah, Sigil of Garboder metal deck. 
Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make room for another Dialga though. So we're probably gonna play this next. We're gonna play this Sigilith deck next because this one is even more lit. It's a nice little interesting rogue I built. So uh, yeah, hold on. Let me just quickly change the file here. Genesect stream games. Let me just add that to my hard drive real quick. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Let's play some more matches here. I'm gonna play Malamar Typhlosion after if you guys want. So I'll play some Sigilith and Pals. And then see here what we play against. Ooh, fire, water. I would say Blasafion, but it, usually it's like just like fire and psychic. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem, Eric. And yeah, there's probably gonna be a Suicune video tomorrow. After the stream, I'm probably gonna quickly record a Suicune video, and then I can have that out for tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna mulligan. I guess really, like, Macargo, maybe you don't need to play in the deck either. You could probably take Macargo out, but there, that's, I don't know. You'd have so much room for, like, a lot of different Pokemon. I made a Sceptile GX deck, and I'm loving it, lol. Yeah, Sceptile, I think, is pretty good. I think it's good. I think it I think it works. You can combo with the other Sceptile, and then obviously stuff like Blasapheon and Buzzwill can't damage you. What's the purpose of, Shine, of the Shiny Genesect deck? Thought it worked well with Venusaur. Well, the idea, Aaron, is, like, it kind of just, like, uses, um... Nagandel's ability to put the energy on to itself, and then you can use Genesect's ability to move one energy to it per turn, and then you play multiple wish you play four wishful batons, so every time it gets knocked out, you force the energy back to a new Genesect. So it kind of just flows like that. Um ooh, we're playing against Scizor. That is fine. It is fine. We can maybe pull off a Dialga play. Dialga would be huge. If he's playing Shrine, I'm going for a Dialga. Pardon me. Uh, I've been playing Shuckle to Viper. That seems like a fun deck. In Expanded, that deck seems pretty insane, too. Might as well play you down. I don't want to put too much on the bench, because that's one way you counter Sigilith. But Shuckle to Viper seems pretty cool. That sounds sweet. Yeah, I saw it on uh, PDCG Radio's channel. And uh, ever since then, I was like, I gotta build this deck. The deck does play, like, originally it would play, like, four Shine Gen 6, but I've mixed it up, and I threw in, like, um... I threw in the Bulu. I threw in the Shiny Lugia... But the deck is pretty fun to play. It's a fun little uh, rogue deck. Yeah, who knows? It might have potential. I don't know. I doubt it, though. All right, so let's see here. My opponent's playing Scizor. Scizor, I think, is a good enough matchup. I would say so myself. Dialga could be huge here to deal with all these Scythers. I, I'm pretty sure uh, one of... Isn't it like resist? Yeah, so we can we can hit through Scizor without having to worry about that uh, psychic resistance. That's pretty good. We played a frying pan down. What's the top meta deck now post Lost Thunder? Um, I a lot of people are saying Blasafion Naganadel is really good. So I'm probably gonna go with Blasafion Naganadel, just because like everyone's playing that. Lost March is showing some potential. Uh. But, yeah, I'd say Blasafion, Naganadel, Ninetales, Ninetales is good, too. But, like, stuff like Zorak, Lycanroc, and, um, like, the Shrine decks, like, Buzz Shrine and Gas Can, I'd say they're still good, too. Um, I don't think they, they're going anywhere. So, I probably, best deck maybe is Blasafion for now, anyways, until people, like, really know, until turn results change that. Uh, okay, we might not hit what we want. We're not, we might not hit DC here. Um, I'm going to Lily for two. I hate to do this. Okay. We'll put down Trubbish. I might as well attach the active because we could potentially take a knockout with Intercept. But I do want to try and build up Dialga though. Dialga would be really good here. We could de-evolve Scizor and just auto-KO it if you know he's already got damage on him. Frying pans are really bad. We do have Field Blower though. And he's going to play down Scizor. That's fine. You want to attack me, you get hit with mirror counter. Ooh. He could do cross cut, but that's not going to knock me out because I'm not evolution. And if he does that, he takes 100 damage. So uh, we'll see. And then hopefully I can find a field blower. I could knock him out next turn if I can hit field blower, get rid of the metal frying pan, and he does cross cut, takes 100 damage. But yes, yeah, so you can see how evil Siglith is. You could like do prize for prize because they knock you out, you'll, you'll get knocked down for turn. Because still waiting for 80, and they're going to take 80 damage right back. All right, let's see what we draw. Macargo would have been nice last turn, but that's fine. Well, it's not fine, but we'll put down Garboder. 
two items, so it doesn't matter. We'll smooth over. Probably for Cynthia. Or actually, maybe it's better to grab Lily. I might just dust main him next turn and knock him out, which I think we'll be able to do. But we're able to knock him out next turn anyways, because if he damages me, yeah, he'll get KO'd. Yeah, we'll grab Lily instead. So we can do Lily. We can knock him out dust main instead of Garboder. Oh, never mind. We had to play the energy. Uh, I could go for intercept. Does it knock him out? 180? Yeah, it does. Choice pain is on. Rip. I'm an idiot. Whatever. That's fine. Still get the Lily, I think. We're probably going to get knocked out here, but yeah, look at this. Look, look, look at this evil. This thing is evil. I don't think it's great, but it is fun to play. It's very meme-worthy, so. There's one more item in the discard. I probably shouldn't have grabbed Lily there, knowing that I was going to take the knockout. I wasn't thinking that through. Are Rayquaza GX decks dead now because of the new Gramble? Um, no, I'd, I'd still say Rayquaza is still pretty good. As Aurora Rayquaza is showing potential. But yeah, there is like Gramble and Alola Ninetales now. And there's Xerneas uh, Prism Star. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got my Xerneas Prism Star Ninetales Tapu Lele deck. I want to play that deck. We're going to play the deck after this game. I totally forgot I had that deck built. I need to play that. We're going to play that. We are going to play that. Totally forgot about that deck. But yeah, there's a lot more fairy types now to deal with. So it's kind of tough for... Uh, Stuff like thing to survive. Well, stuff like thing is not a word. Okay, let's see what we draw. Okay, Lily. What am I saying? Wait, let's see what we draw. Can I get a standing ovation for how <laughs> stupid I am sometimes? Alrighty then. We're gonna Macargo for. We're gonna get another Sigalith and build it up. See what this gives us afterwards. Okay, enhanced hammer. Bit of a useless card in this matchup, unfortunately. And uh, we'll just Sonic wing him for 80. Or not 80, sorry, 50. That's fine. Unfortunately, he, um, I mean, if he wanted to Chrono Impact me, he'd knock me out, and then he wouldn't have to worry about the ability. But if he attacks with Scizor, you gotta worry about that ability. I do need to get Field Blower, though, ASAP. I really need to get Field Blower here. But we're gonna have to Macargo for DCE, so we can do that, so that's gonna have to happen. I'm just going to frying pan. It's a lot of frying pans, man. That rhymed. I wish I could do Mount Coronet with Unit Energy. That'd be great so I can, you know, continuously do Dust Shot. But he attacks me, and then you take 90 damage for attacking. I don't think we can take him out this turn. How many items has he played? One, two, three, four. Four items. Yeah, we'll bring out Sigalith. He's only played four items. That's not enough. Coco, nah, we'll just stretch her back, Sigalith, I guess. Sigalith, like, whenever it's in play, you don't want to Guzmix. It's like, you Guzmix, what do you do? Because, you know, you take damage. What do you think about the Gramble deck, sir? I think Gramble's pretty good, Terry. I think it's definitely good. It showed potential. It did well in Japan, so I think it's definitely an interesting deck that probably will do well in the future. Um, Probably will do well. Actually, if we could hit Fuel Blower here, I think we will KO him with that extra 20. Oh, no, we would need a Choice Band, so never mind, rip. Ooh, Judge. And we'll Sonic Wing him for 80. and Or 40. I keep forgetting. But if he attacks me, he gets KO'd. So do you want to do that? Um, but yeah, I think Gramble's... I think it's good. It's it's really good with um, the fact that it's a non-GX attacker. It's got good HP. Pretty decent typing since Rayquaza's a thing. I don't have any Grambles, though. I'd like to play Gramble, but I don't have any Grambles. I did not pull any. But really, for now, I just kind of want to focus on like the GXs of the set. Okay, so let's see. Does my opponent get the knockout? He not... I mean, this game could go down to a tie. If I'm going to be honest, we could tie here. Depends. We're not going to be able to attack him next turn because he will KO me with Steel Wing because of the Delmise. We really need to get rid of those frying pans, though. Ooh, he's going to judge me. Okay. The new Cynthia and Guzmarts are so cool. Yeah, the new Guzmart I like a lot. I'm glad we're getting another full art Cynthia, just to, makes it a bit easier to get Cynthia. Oh, wow, wow, we got a pretty bad hand off this. Dang, bro, I was hoping this wouldn't be as bad. I might still have to bring in Sigalith. Depends on what he tries to do. He 
could he potentially could tag me with Corona Impact. But, I mean, I made a meme on Twitter. If you're not following my Twitter, by the way, guys, uh, make sure you guys go hit it with a follow. But, uh, yeah, I I made a meme on Twitter about, like, it's like, what's the point of making all these shiny GXs when you have rainbow rares? What's the point of making rainbow rares? So, that's, it. you know, I kind of found that as a funny meme, but it is true. But uh, the shiny GXs are beautiful. They are insanely beautiful. And uh, the new the new full art supporters look good. The full art Guzma, I think, might be the best of them all. Though the Burning Shadows Guzma is still memorable, like that nice blue crisp background. Do I have a Guzma in the discard? No, does he have a Guzma in the discard? Never mind. So I was gonna look at it and admire it, but we can't do that. Now, I think we have to bring in Dustmane. And can we get two prizes here? Can one of them be a way to draw? No. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, there look at how beautiful. I just love the blue purple de design this card has. Ah, would you a switch, really? How many items has he played now? Four, five. So we're only hitting for a hundred. We're not really tanking too hard. So we'll smooth over for probably unit energy, just so we can do dust shot. And we're actually gonna goose with something up here. Hmm. I'd goose with a slugma, but he'd actually be able to attack me. Guess we'll Guzma Delmize. We'll see if this works. This will at least give him one less turn where he can't play items. We're gonna go switch right back in. This gives him one turn where he can't play items. We're no not we're, uh, we can't play items. He can't attach an energy to Scizor. That's what I meant to say. Hey, what's up, Fury? Yo, Timmy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. How you doing? I think it's a little silly. It's the same art for the full art rainbow and shiny versions. Exactly. I don't. I didn't get really get the point of making rainbow rares. If ever if they just do that. Now there's like no point of getting rainbow rares because you can't really see the artwork that well. You get a shiny, it's better. Yo, how's it going, man? I am on a high right now after all these regionals. Yo, Swag, how you doing? And how you how did you do at the regionals? Oh, he has Guzma Rip. He's taking out my cargo. No. Dang it, he's doing just enough to steal wing. Okay, I think I now have to go Sigilith and hope he doesn't have another Guzma. I don't know. This win might be a little hard. We showed off what Sigilith could do, though. Showed off what Sigilith could do, I guess. So there's, like, a beautiful resolution to this whole thing. He probably has game, though. He probably has last Guzma and the energy to win the game. Top 32 at Philly, top 16 at Memphis, and top 16 at Portland. Yo, jeez, nice, Swag Otter. That's sick. Hi, yo, Benjamin Rush. Welcome, dude. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by tonight. He's gonna Ultra Ball. This might just give him the Lele to Guzma me again. And then he just knocks out Slugma. If I actually evolve that into my cargo. No, never mind. There's no way, because yes, the Delmice. Dang it. He was able to counter the Sigilith. We tried, though. We tried the Sigilith. That judge kind of hurt us, though. If we were able to do the Macargo Lily Kikui engine some more, we'd be able to get what we needed. Wait, shoot. Top 32 at Portland. No, nice. Why are we playing at Portland, by the way, Swag Otter? Actually. Yeah, what were you playing? All right, so he's gonna Guzma. Does he break the Slugma? He does. Does he have the energy to retreat? He does. Rip. Dang it. We came close. Sigilith put in work against Scizor, though. I will take it. Sigilith did work. Sigilith did work. All right, that's fine. I want to play that Xerneas deck next, though, so we are most likely going to do that. But that was a fine enough matchup. That was a fine enough game. I will take it. I will take it. All right, so next up, ooh, uh, yeah, I'll check in just a sec here. All right, so yeah, just recently, uh, well, sorry, I got to go back in the chat to find him. Swarfiga in the chat actually just recently donated me a lot of cards, so I really got to thank you for that once again. Um, it looks like he's sending me more stuff. Let's see. But yeah, thanks. If Oh, wow. Wow, jeez. Yeah, thanks. Once again, thank you, Swarf Swarfiga. I really do appreciate it, dude. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you could have all the... Oh, wow. Thank you, dude. I do appreciate all of this, all of the donation, dude. Thank you, dude. Once again, guys, can we get some hearts in the chat for Swarfiga? Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot, dude. Thank you a lot. That made no sense. Sometimes I, you know, I'm just too hyped right now, you know? Thank you, dude. Holy. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I played Zorak Garboder. 
Now, yeah, Zork Garbodor is, like, probably the best Zork deck other than the Toad variant. Well, a lot of people believed it. But, yeah, thank you for the generous donations, Swarfiga. I do really appreciate it. Yeah, winky face. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, let's get some hearts in the chat for my boy. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the Xerneas deck here. The Xerneas Prism Star deck that I've built. Yep, Xerneas, Nine Tails, Naganadel. So the idea with this deck is you use Naganadel to build up energy, then you can go in with Path of Life once you get Xerneas into the active spot, which you can do by going to low Nine Tails for Switch. And then what you do, you Bright Horns. Bright Horns can take one shot thanks to Choice Band. Um, you Ace Rolla your guy. You charge back up. So there's a lot of like combos you do here. Um, Plus, we have all these fairy charms, which can make your Xerneas invincible, and we can use it with this Tapu Lele here, because Tapu Lele's ability, Charmed Charm, nice ability name, that's a bit, whatever, anyways, <laughs> whenever you play a tool that has uh, fairy charm, you leave your opponent's active confused, play with Megarna, you confuse them every turn, Lele can attack too, it does 70, which isn't terrible, so we have nine tails. so this deck seems really fun to play, um, and I really am hyped to play it. Not gonna lie, I am pretty darn hyped to play it. So we are going to play it. Baby Guardy is a good new card. Yeah, Terry, Baby Guardy is pretty hype. Um, probably we'll end up looking at that soon. All right, so here we go. We're gonna play some Xerneas Nine Tails Naganadel. This is why I like Naganadel a lot because so many fun combos you can play with it. You can see the Xerneas Nine Tails Naganadel deck is a brand new combo. It's a brand new hype combo. All right, hold on. I gotta get my phone. I don't know where I put it. Okay, we're back. And hopefully find a match soon. Typhlosion next, please. Yeah, Sleepy, after this game, I will play Typhlosion. And it looks like we're up against Gascan. Sucks, I uh, I don't have much to make a lot of decks. I only have one Blasafion, one Suicune, one Lugia, one Sigilyph, two Sceptile, one Shuckle. I mean, Timmy, if you have, like, um, all, if you have enough Netballs, you have Groviles, you can build a uh, Sceptile... Uh, Lolan Executor deck, because you really only need the one Sceptile GX in there. And if you already have um, Laurentis promo, Timmy, you technically could build a uh, Sceptile GX deck and just double up on both Sceptiles. So we got the Poipul start. Not a great starting hand, not going to lie. Could be better. Okay, Tyranitar GX is pretty bad, but he definitely has the best GX attack move, Lay the Smackdown. <laughs> yeah, that name's pretty funny. Tyranitar is cool, though, with the Larvitar Shine Selby combo. I could play the deck and just instead of playing the uh, third Tyranitar GX, I could just play the Trample one. Lily for four, okay. RRP. And an Escape Force. This is Gas Can. So, we have Psychic and Fairy Charm, which come in handy here, especially against Marshadow and potentially Dawn Wings. I think we just retreat in a Vulpix here and pray my boy survives the turn by uh, not getting KO'd. Sounds good. There's Xerneas. Nice. We're going to put that guy down now. Get the energy in the discard. We can save Ultra Ball for next turn, and we'll do Beacon. Do we have Lele? We do. I'm going to Beacon for another Vulpix, and probably Tapu Lele. Yeah, I would grab an Naganadel, but I feel confident we'll find it. I'd rather get the Lele combo down now, especially before a Dawn Wings invasion comes into play. I've almost lost enough. I almost have enough for Night March, or Lost March, sorry. Just see one Natu and one more Jump Luck, though. Yeah, good luck, man. I still need um, I still need to get a couple Jump Luffs and a couple Trump Breaks, and then I can play Lost March. My Lost March build plays Marsh Shadow, just to help a bit against Zork. I don't know how good it is, though, but I do have that option. So he's going to Ultra Ball. Let's see if he knocks me out. Ooh, Dawn Wings gets discarded, but not much energy is even in the discard pile to begin with. So I don't know how uh, this goes. We'll see. No energy in the discard is a good sign. Yo, Raul, welcome. Raul, welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? Um, I can't, I'm sorry if I can't translate that. Actually, I guess I could. But yeah, welcome, dude, welcome. Gonna treasure. Grab Necrozma. Okay, no energy getting discarded. That's what I like to see. He might not be playing Tapu Lele. Nope. Dawn Wings. So he has one card in his hand. Does he have a supporter? Probably. Oh, 
Oh, he doesn't. What? Okay, perfect. This is what I want to see, because now I can set up a bit better. We'll put down this Lele. Uh, might as well attach to, like, Xerneas, I guess. Okay. Well, Ultra Ball for... Hmm, what do I get rid of? Probably Guzma can go. Uh, I want to keep Ace Rolla for uh, the Xerneas. We don't really need to do the Lele combo yet, but we're going to... Or, yeah, the, the, the baby Lele. Not Tapu Lele GX, baby Lele. Uh, well, Cynthia? I, did he get rid of a Cynthia there that turn? If he did, hey, rip him. Don't need to play Nine Tails down because we can just do Beacon again. Okay, we just barely got an Aganadel. So we'll get rid of probably Megirna. Meg, I mean, that combo is really not great because Dawn Wings. Um, and I guess Kakui can go. Grab an Aganadel. We need to start getting the energy online now. So that we can go next turn and then knock him out with Xerneas, which I think I'm going to do. I don't know what to knock out, though, because Dawnwings is in play. I might take out the Marshadow. We'll see. I will just do Beacon for probably just double the of Nine Tails, I'm going to be quite honest with you. Hey, LDF. Yo, Metro. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Just testing out some Lost Thunder decks today. And, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so he... Ooh, I think he top decked that. Or maybe he played a supporter last turn and I'm just blind. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if Volpix is safe here. Still no energy getting discarded. That's pretty good to see. Another energy? Okay, one energy gets discarded. We'll probably get KO'd this turn. As long as we don't lose Xerneas, I'll be fine. But he already played Lily, so there's no way that can happen. So wait, hold on. Xerneas states, once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench. So yeah, you can't use this ability if you bring it to your active when you get KO'd. I need to remember that just in case. Ooh. This is kind of bad. He has Mimikyu. Ooh, I think I have to try and knock him out with Naganadel. Yeah, we're going to have to knock him out with Naganadel here. Ooh, that's pretty bad. I should have grabbed, um... I probably should have grabbed a, uh, a Poipul there instead of the double nine tails. But he had one card in his hand. I felt safe. Doing good. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good, Metro. Uh, we'll have to grab Energy Switch. And... Hmm. I guess Psychic Fairy Charm works pretty well. Oh, but no, you can still knock me out with Mimikyu. That Mimikyu is so annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to do this. Okay. I could uh, I could knock out the Mimikyu here, but he can just copy it with Marshadow. That's so evil. I'm looking forward to getting my cards for decks. Yeah. This new set, man, there's so many fun stuff you can make. Uh, I kind of want to play Xerneas down. I don't know. Never mind, I guess I'm playing it down. Okay, so we'll charge it up. We will attach to Ninetales. Energy switch to Naganadel. Losing Naganadel here is really bad, though. But I do get two prizes, so that's a bonus. Let's see. Cynthia and Diantha. Diantha, we can't play. But we do have Cynthia, so that's good. So looks like another energy. I can do Snowy Wind and knock out you. And then maybe, if I get the chance, I can Sublimation the Dawn Wings. What is your favorite card from Lost Thunder right now? Honestly, Timmy, I probably have to go with Lola Ninetales. It's a beautiful card. Other than that, I'm really liking these fun Naganadel rogues that I've built. There's too much going on right now. Yeah, there it's insane. When I was putting up trades earlier for the other GX I don't have yet, I kept forgetting about there's more stuff. Like, oh, there's Rizian, and then there's Macargo. Oh, there's Shuckle, too. Do you think Nagandal Coco will work? Yeah, I, I'd say it works with Zorora and the new Electro Power card. I have that deck built, just need a few Zororas and I think one more Electro Power, and I can play that deck. But that deck will most likely work. It seems like a good deck, Benjamin. Oh, he brought up the Dawn Wings. Okay. Oh, I guess he had to. Does he have a way to... 
go into it. If he doesn't have a way to go into Mimikyu, we will try and snipe it this turn. Okay, he's going to escape. He's going to get rid of that. If he does have a Lele, I guess he can... Okay, you know, yeah, Copycat could copy me even if he switched out my active. But he's only going to do 80 damage. And he's not knocking anything out. And if he hits Ninetales, I'll just ace roll it. Once we get rid of Mimikyu, this card here is going to be very clutch. BlizzCon and Lost Thunder too much, yeah. I remember when... Oh, he is going for that Guzma play. Okay. But I remember when um when Lost Thunder first came out, there's a huge update on Fortnite. And I was like, I don't know what to do. Well, obviously, I went for Lost Thunder. But yeah, a lot of stuff was happening that day when Lost Thunder first, like, the codes were redeemable. Oh, he's going for the Ninetales, so I'm just going to have to Ace Roll that. Ooh, the Fairy Energy top deck. That's not Ace Roller. Okay, so Ace Roller the Ninetales. We'll bring in Naganadal. We'll play Vulpix back down. We'll attach an Energy to it. And I think we just attack him. And knock him out with Turning Point. We almost have Turning Point activated too, which is pretty good. If he doesn't knock out Naganadal next turn, which, you know, might not happen. He's got one card in his hand. So, anything is possible. We, I guess he can do a Dark Flash. We could Moon's Eclipse me, but I have Guzma, so that's good. Wait, could Sublimation knock him out? Hold on, is Revent all effects? Ooh, yeah, Sublimation won't KO him. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Alright, we're probably going to get knocked out here. He would need another energy. He's played three. It's pretty obvious. He's going to get it. I have pulled two Shuckle and a few others from my packs. Nice. I did pull Full Art Judge on... Um, my first Lost Thunder pack opening was pretty awesome. Yeah, Full Art Judge and Full Art Elms are really nice. Full Art Elms is going to be a bit of a pain to get multiple copies of. Not going to lie. It's basically Cynthia Guzma 2.0. Dark Cloak, plus an Inkle Impact, plus Nitro Tank, plus Magic Valley. I mean, Zorora has so much going for it. Yeah, it's going to be really good Wimpo. Even with all the fighting decks that are pretty good, the deck still works well. The deck can still put in work. I think I'm actually going to knock out this Necrozma. That's more of a threat than anything else. So, I can't sublimation him, unfortunately. I think I just bring out this guy. Alright, let's get a Poipal top deck. No DCE. Okay. That's fine. So, what we'll do is we'll drop down the Ninetales. Grab treasure. Okay, what else am I going to need? I really need to think this through. Treasure... Palpad? Yeah, treasure and palpad, I guess. No, that no, that no, I don't need it. Treasure and choice band, actually. Yeah, let's get treasure and choice band. We'll see if we can get a big KO with Xerneas. We'll get rid of the other Lola Nine Tails. Wanna get these Naganadels back into play. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to attach the Fairy Energy to you. We're going to save that DC because we can make a Nagandal surprise play. We're going to attach the Fairy Charm to the Ninetales. We're going to Guzma. What do we want to hit for 70? Could hit a Malamar for 70 and then finish it off later. We're not taking a prize this turn, but I can bring out the Malamar, knock it out for later. Because this guy can get KO'd next turn by just Naganadel. But we want to sublimation him. I might just bring in the Necrozma so he can't do a knockout on my Ninetales if somehow he gets it. It's the only thing, if he gets a Field Blower and knocks me out Necrozma, it's the only way I can see him knocking me out. So if I bring in the Active now, I force him to maybe not be in that position again. No, actually, yeah, we'll bring in a Malamar. I think that's a better play. I think Malamar's just better to hit. The best thing to hit for 30 either is... Yeah, we'll hit the Necrozma. This way we don't need the Choice Band to knock it out with um, Naganadel or whatever. Hopefully this Fairy Charm sticks, though. But yeah, let's attach to my Fairy Pokemon. My opponent's... 
Lele, Necrozma, and Donwings cannot damage me. He can damage me with Deoxys. I think he has to. Hmm, and then I could, maybe I didn't play that properly. I could have saved the Guzma, I don't know. Maybe I should grab Pelpad. This is a little interesting, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. He's gonna have to retreat. Yeah, he can build up this, I guess. Hmm, I really need to take a sublimation knockout here on that Donald, because that's gonna be my key to winning. It's gonna be the key to winning the game. Okay, Mysterious Treasure. Getting Deoxys again. Alright, he's going heavy on the Deoxyses. Hi, LDF. Yo, Bobby, welcome to the stream. How you doing today, dude? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Alright, so Psychic Recharge. He's going to hit me with Deoxys. I do have another Ace Roller, right? Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have... Maybe I should hit the Deoxys instead. I guess we can knock out Malamar, though, and then still go down to two prizes, which is huge. I think, yeah, I think that play is still fine. I don't want to lose nine kills, though. Let's see what we draw. Ultra Ball. I can knock him out again at all this turn. I'm tempted to do that. But I don't want to lose this much energy. I think that's actually a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. We just need to find a Guzma, and we're golden. Well, Cynthia. There's Ace Rolla. A little late, though, buddy. A little late. It's gonna thin a bit. I don't think I have another Lele I can grab, so I can, yeah, grab Guzma. Yeah, we have our other Guzma, though. It's in the deck, so we know it's there. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of tough. Getting KO'd by Deoxys is not fun. Hmm. All we need to do is just find a Guzma and we win. Really wish I had Palpad right now. Do you have any insight on what cards may affect the expanded meta? Uh, well, from the new set, probably. I think we just have to attack him. Um, we're going to lose all our energy if we don't. Yeah, we have to. Probably from the new set, Bobby. Obviously, Blasatheon is pretty good and expanded thanks to Blacksmith. Ooh, really? Yeah, Blasatheon is good and expanded thanks to Blacksmith. Um, I think, really, uh, Faba could, you know, the new Faba card is like Zerosic, but it sends stadiums and uh, special energy to Lost Zone. That's going to be a nice one of in, like, Zoark decks. Um, well, a Ninetales Fairy is decent and expanded. You can grab Via Seeker. You can grab uh, Battle Compressor. That's pretty strong. So, yeah, I think a lot of these new cards do affect the meta pretty well. So he KOs me. Now, this is where things go downhill. Okay. What to do? We can knock him out Xerneas this turn, actually. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I think we have to. All right, let's see. What do we draw? Fairy Charm. Don't need to play that now. I think we will, though, just to thin, thin our hand a bit. But we are going to be able to take him out with Bright Horns here. Yeah, just to thin, I think I just play this down. Well, Lily. We got Switch. That's actually game-changing. We don't have to retreat the DC, which I like. And I think I just take the knockout. I think we're safe. Because I took out a Malamar, it's I, it's not possible for him to knock me out with this. He's already used Black uh, Moon's Eclipse. I don't even think Lele gets knocked out this turn. I think I'm safe. Bro, Lost March, Plus Safety on Ninetales, the set in Expanded, yeah. 
I think the Safeon crosses over really well in Expanded, thanks to Blacksmith. Blacksmith makes the Safeon and the Ganadel, like, insanely scary. And Volcanion is in Expanded, too, don't forget. <laughs> so, but Safeon has Volk to work with, so that's even stronger. But I think we are safe to win the game. There's nothing he can really bring up to Kaomi. The worst that can happen, I guess, is we don't have a way to go back out. Maybe I should have retrieved the DC and saved the switch, because then I can do a Kakui combo if he decides to Guzma me this turn. He's only played one Guzma, or two Guzmas, so maybe he doesn't Guzma me. Let's see what happens. Have you got a Tapu Lele GX I can borrow, please? Unfortunately, Alex, I do not. I only have three. One is locked and one is not. Ooh, Broken Heart. Ooh, he doesn't have it. The deck comes in clutch. But yeah, unfortunately, dude, I don't. And uh, so we can do Bright Horns, obviously, again. So I, yeah, I should have saved that switch. Oh, wow. Okay, so I really screwed up there. Really screwed up. But because he's not building up this, I don't think he knocks me out anyways. No, he might. No Guzma. Is there any way I can win this turn? I should have saved that switch. Oh my goodness. I would have won if I didn't save it. 50 viewers, though. Shout out to everyone who's tuned in. Oh man, Vulcan again. Del seems busted. Yeah, it does. Oh gosh. I can't switch. Dang it. Okay, that's my bad. Uh, we're just going to have to play it the old-fashioned way. Okay. Well, Cynthia... We got an energy switch. Not much I can do with it, though. I think we just put back two Guzmas. We need to get Guzma back. We don't have any in hand again, rip. I guess. I, I doesn't really matter where I put that. So we got to retreat into Ganadel. And we turning point him. I guess. I don't know. He might have game. If he has another Malamar and an energy in hand, he wins with Lele. This is why Lele does not want to be on the bench. I should have saved that switch, though. Man, I feel stupid for not saving that switch. I would have won the game if I did play it. Dang it, dude. Oh, I didn't think that through. I only need it for a few minutes to trick my friend. I have that one. Yeah, but sorry, man. I Alex, I need all my Leleys. I need them all at the moment. But yeah, good luck getting one. It might have dropped in price recently because the new promo Lele is accessible, accessible right now on PDCGO. I'm watching three streams right now. Holy moly. Nice Metro. Rip your internet though, Kappa. He might have game here on Lele. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I feel so dumb for playing that Switch. Dang it. That might have just cost me the game. If I didn't play Switch, I would have been golden. I should have just retreated the DCE. Dang, I, I forgot about Xerneas' effect where it can't do the attack next turn. If I knew that, I probably wouldn't have played that Switch when I didn't need to. Rip, dude. If he if he has the game on Lele, I'm going to cry. He probably does. Living the life, Metro. Yeah. I mean, Alex, if you want to have someone in chat, I guess you can do that, but I can't, I literally can't right now anyways. I'm in a game, but I, I can't do it just because I need the Leleys for these decks. He's not breaking... Oh, he's not building up the Necrozma, though, which is good. We know he's going to knock me out Deoxys here. Hmm. Yeah, we have game. We just energy switch, knock him out in the Ganadol. Oh, we went into the wrong guy. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't want to be a jerk, but we're getting lucky here. Oh, he screwed up. That's game. GG. If he built up Necrozma, I think he would have had it. I don't know if he had the energy in hand. I wasn't really looking. And we just energy switch. Yeah, GG. Good game. Good game. Good game indeed to you, sir. Let me just finish him off in again. Oh, shoot. Come on. I, I didn't mean to click that. All right, there we go. Oh, man, that was stupid. All right, here we go. Turn point. Bye-bye. GG, though. Holy cow. I would have won the game a bit earlier if I didn't do that play, but whatever. It's fine. Is what it is. That was a pretty good game regardless. But yeah, uh, sorry, Alex. I, ca I can't give you the Lele. 
I just, I need them. I need all my Lele's right now. Like, I, I don't, I'm not saying that I don't trust you, that you wouldn't give back, but I, I just can't get rid of them. True Lele isn't that much anymore. Yeah, I think it's dropped recently with the new alternate Lele that's come out. Yeah, you can buy Lele code for 70, 575 USD from eBay. Yeah, if you really need one, Alex, that's the best way to do it. But I, I can't give you, I can't let you borrow Lele because I need them. But that was a really good game, showing off why I like that Xerneas Rogue deck a lot. Fairy Charm didn't do as much as I wanted it to do. That's fine, though. It, we were able to make a lot of stuff work that game. A lot. Um, we've played a lot of these decks, man. Um, we're going to play Malamar Typhlosion next, right? I promised, I promised Malamar Typhlosion would be next. Please trade Lele. I just need it for a moment, please. Yeah, sorry, Alex. I just, I can't. I need the Lele's, and, like, I just don't want to, I don't want to trade them anyways. I just, I need to, I'm going to keep them. Sorry, Alex. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna play some Typhlosion Malamar. Holy cow! All this talking has hurt my nose. If that made any sense. All right. <sighs> okay. Yes. Yeah, Alex, man. I I can't give you the Lele's, man. I need them. Probably a scam. I don't know. Unsure. That's the thing. I'm unsure, Otter. I'm unsure. Typhlosion, my dream deck. Yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I am very excited to play this. I think after this, I might just end off the stream. I still have to record the Sweet Coon video for tomorrow. Yo, what's good, my dude? Just got off work. You loving the new set? Yeah, I am, Mini. Um, yeah, the set is pretty hyped, though. A lot of fun cards in here. Uh, why would he ask that many times? Yeah, I don't know. Best deck ever. This deck, man, it's fun. Typhlosion's interesting. There's enough good fire support to help it out. Malamar Typhlosion plus Safion also could be a possibility for a deck, who knows. And we're up against Sogaleo, which is decent, but unfortunately, my opponent might be playing um, the other Sogaleo, which means we can't hit him for weakness, so there's a bit of a double-edged sword going on. So well, Cynthia, I was thinking of doing Sightseer, because we need to get rare candy Typhlosion. Okay, this works. We can get rid of an energy, and the judge, grab Cyndaquil. Okay, not bad. We have the Quilava. We're not going to be able to get that closure down right away. As long as that promo Sogaleo doesn't hit the board, we can just one-shot and shred his Sogaleos. Gotta keep checking my email here, because I did order 20 codes a few days ago. They haven't come in yet. And I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting for those codes. We'll see if my opponent... Get to say turn two Sokaleo too, that'd be pretty scary, but because we're fire type, we should be okay. Typhlosion could be useful too. Lost Flame. Put two energy attached opponents active Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Not in the discard in the Lost Zone. This Typhlosion has also got an okay attack. It could do Apricorn Maker. Typhlosion Malamar could work too, if you wanted to try that. Typhlosion Malamar, run DCs, because DC would turn straight into Blazing Energy. Ooh, Zoark. Okay, Zoark's fine. There's so many deck ideas out of this set, it's awesome. I know, it's insane how many like new deck ideas there are in mini. There's a lot of good non-GX Pokemon. There's a lot of good GXs. It's pretty cool. So we'll have the Vault Quilava. We'll attach. We'll Cynthia, see what this gives us. Okay, Acrobike. Play this first. Well, that's pretty obvious what we have to grab. We're going to have to get rid of Field Blower... And I guess this, I don't want to lose Field Blower, but I do want to get another Inke down. Just try and build up some Malamars eventually. We can Shell Trap him, so at least when he attacks me, he'll take 80 damage. Which is a lot of damage to take. Especially on a tanky 250 HP Sokaleo. Okay, so let's see if he even attacks me this turn. He might not attack me, so I gotta hope for the best. Gotta hope for the best. Okay, let's see what that Lele grabs him. Let's see what he grabs him. 
Ooh, he hasn't played any... Oh, he's playing the Apricorn thing, so he's not playing Elm's Lecture. He's going to grab Mallow for probably Rare Candy Sogaleo, but that's fine, because... if He's probably playing the promo one. The promo one is expensive, though, so yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Mini. I just kind of ignored it, honestly, after he kept spamming. Okay, so we know he's grabbing Rare Candy Sogaleo here, because he wants to get it. But if he attacks me, he's going to take 80, and then Bright Flame probably can finish him off here, as long as we can get the energy online. Unless he's playing the Ultra Rope. No, rip, so he does go for the promo one. But yeah, if he attacks him with Turbo Strike, and it looks like he's doing that, he's going to take a lot of damage. And he's going for it. So he's going to take 80, and we can probably knock him out this turn, too, with Bright Flame. Pretty sure the math equals... Yeah, 150. So we need to find an energy to do this. So hopefully we do hit it. If we don't hit it, oh, I'm going to cry. Whew, just barely got there. Okay, so here's where the fun begins. Here's where the fun begins. Okay, so we'll Malamar, build up the other Turnator, attach an energy to the active, uh, we'll treasure away Ultra Ball. I don't want to lose my Cyndaquil, because I do need it. We'll grab the other Malamar. We do have Onyx, too, so that can come in handy as long as there's no Sokoleo in play. Put you down. We'll just build up the other Turt on the bench. You can also use Ho-Oh, I guess, in this archetype, too. And, uh, there's that. But we'll Blaze an Energy, so we'll show off how this ability works. So we'll Blaze an Energy and Bright Flame knocks out this Sokoleo because of Shell Trap coming in clutch. We'll take our two prizes, Guzma and an Ink. Okay, Guzma works because we can do another Guzma, and we can potentially knock something out, depending on if we get, like, a Choice Man or something. I was hoping we could KO the Zork, though. We'll see if he finds a DC, though. He might not. Who knows? Ooh, just a Kikui. <laughs> so he is not looking too likely to hit this DC. Unless, like, he gets really good stuff. Oh, shoot, he's playing Weavile on the deck. Okay, that's that's really bad. Weavile is going to be horrible. But if he doesn't attack me this turn, this is going to be really good. I really hope he doesn't get the attack. Oh, we got another Zoark. He's going to be able to draw a bit extra. He's already played a supporter for the turn, though. So if he doesn't get DC here, he's not going to be able to play the supporter. And he's going to be stuck with what he's got. I might. I think I'm going to hit that. I'm going to knock out Sneasel. Unless we can top deck Choice Band. I'm considering the Lele KO... But Sneasel's evil. Okay, rip. So what we'll do is we'll Psychic Recharge to the Balamar. We'll Guzma the Sneasel, because Sneasel, I think, is going to be a pain. Nice build fear. Yeah, thanks, Mini. Yeah, this this deck is fun. It's a fun idea. We can Psychic Recharge again to the Turnator. We have this nice little, like, combo going. Hmm. Maybe I should have played the other Inkay down. Uh, but it's fine. So we'll place an energy, and we will Bright Flame knock out Sneasel, and hopefully this prize gives us a supporter, because this game could go downhill if we don't, like, get a good hand eventually. Another Malamar, really? Maybe we can go, like, a 4-3 Malamar engine instead of, like, that many, because that's a lot of Malamars to play. I don't know. I feel like we could get away with a 4-3 engine, but Turnator works fine with Malamar's ability. It's still a good combo. You just need to get the Typhlosion online. But, who knows. I think we really need a supporter. We're probably going to get attacked this turn. Not knocked out. We just need to get a supporter. Just need a supporter and we're golden. He's drawing four cards here, so who knows what happens. Hopefully he has a few DCs prized. That'd be nice. Really hope this game doesn't go downhill, though. Because of no energies. Or no, 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 top deck. Like, we're in top deck mode. It's gonna be down to the wire. We've almost been streaming for two hours, too, guys, which is pretty hype. But yeah, after this game, I'm probably gonna end off the stream here when this game is finished. So hopefully we go on a bang, because this game is looking to be very intense and very, very close. Zora can be one-shotted, though, if we can get the Choice Bank Kikui combo off, so... Zoark may be tanky, but it can be taken down. Lele is also an easy target. 
Sadly, though, Sokolea was in. So he's going to stretch her. Did he not get the energy here? Did he not? If he did get the energy, this is huge. This is going to be huge if he didn't hit the energy here. Gives us the extra turn to hopefully recover. But, uh, yeah, this deck could probably use a DC. I think we are going to edit the deck a little bit. Oh, just a Dark Mint. Dark Mint. What the heck am I saying? A Dark Attachment and a Pass. Okay. So let's see what we draw. True Energy, so that'd be really good to play a bit earlier on, but whatever. We're kind of stuck in the active. I'm going to put down Cyndaquil. I could put down the other 8K, but uh, we're going to put down the other Cyndaquil instead. I'm going to attach to the active... Because we'll be able to retreat in the next coming turns. So we'll just pass. Wow, two hours. Sorry I missed the beginning. It's all good, Mini. It's all good. It's the longest stream I think I've done in a while. But there's a lot of Lost Thunder decks to play, so there was a lot of decks to cover for the stream. He might not even hit an energy here either. Who knows? Cyphlosion won't get KO'd by Turbo Strike, which is good. But once we lose Typhlosion, this deck loses a lot of its flair. That's why I am playing Deoxys and, like, the Onyx and stuff. Just having these backup attackers that rely on Psychic is good. I do have Dawn Wings, too. I got the energy. I'm glad I have no Weavile's in play, though, because we have three abilities in play. And just an attack, so no basics in the discard, I don't think. Right, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, what do we draw? Aggro bike, alright, come in clutch, because you're a secret rare aggro bike. Unfortunately, no. I think what I'm going to do is just put a bunch of energies on my active. Yeah, because if we can get the Typhlosion here, we'll be good. Yeah, that sucks. So we're going to lose our Typhlosion, guys, unfortunately. That's pretty bad. This is, Obviously, our deck gets completely shut down when we lose Typhlosion. But we have our Kearney, so if we can draw Ultra Ball, we can draw the other Typhlosion, we'll be able to get him right back down. And we'll be able to go back to where we started. Would be nice, though, to one-shot the Sogaleo. Problem is, too, if I hit it, he'll heal it. So it's pretty bad. If not, we can always fall back on Shell Trap. He's only taking one prize here, so he's still got a long ways to go. But he's shutting down my entire engine, though, so it's, like, really bad. How many Guzmas is that? Just one. So even if I get another Typhlosion down, he can knock out my Cyndaquil next turn. Sort of be off subject, but I got mentioned by uh, PDC Joe Radio Day about a deck idea I had. It's a Serena deck. Yeah, I saw the uh, I saw him in my sub box, and I saw um, on Twitter that he got the shout-out. Nice mini. That's pretty sick. Let's see what we draw a card. Rip. Rip the dream. I can't really play Dawnwings either because of Zoark. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think we can Shell Trap him. We can go back to that way where we Shell Trap, hit him for 80, finish him off with Bright Flame, but we just need to get Typhlosion back in play. But Cyndaquil is going to go down this turn, and yeah, that's not good. And we can't really rely on Dawnwings because it's weak to Dark. So really, this matchup just goes down the toilet pretty quick. Unless we can draw a supporter to get us out of this. I think I will change this deck up though a little bit. I probably want to add like DCE and stuff like that. This deck could probably work with just like quad DCEs because DC does turn into thing, right? Is it just basic energy? No, all energy attached to your Pokemon. So we can combo this ability with DC. So maybe the Malamar build is fine enough, but maybe running DCEs is better because you put the psychic energy on, you discard the two psychics, you have to either Shell Trap or find a way to go back in with the Retreat combo. But if you play DCE, you don't have that. So, yeah, I guess. What is the reason playing this deck rather than the Necrozma deck? Because you get some cool Fire-type attackers, and uh, you get to use Typhlosion. It's more of a gimmicky deck. If anything, it's a crazy combo deck. But it's a fun idea. It's a fun idea. Combos with Turnator. Plus, you have the fire type on your side, so you could deal with Glissopod and obviously stuff like um, yeah, Glissopod, Decidueye, all those guys, Sceptile, all those like grass big Pokemon. So you get better type coverage, and you get to use Psychic in your deck, so you can cover Buzzwool. And I play Onyx in here, so you get 
so our coverage in a way. You can play Marshadow if you want to, to copy Bright Flame. So you get a lot of, like, type coverage with this deck. He did not attack me. What a smart guy. <laughs> can we try out of this, please? I hate losing to dead draws. It's the worst thing ever. It is the worst thing on the planet. So we're just stuck shell trapping him once again. We're just stuck shell trapping him for the end of time, apparently. Until the end of time. I'm surprised he didn't like Guzma me though. If he takes out Syndical, the game's almost like basically over because I can't do much else after that. Yep, there it is. He's not taking out Syndical though. Okay, that's really fine by me. He's not going to take the damage, but if we can get a good enough top deck, we can possibly get Typhlosion back down. Maybe he hit Choice Band, Kikui. I don't know. If we can top deck Kikui and get Typhlosion and Choice Band, that would be insanely hype, and we would be back to where we were. I don't know why I didn't take out Syndical, though. All right, let's see who we draw. Oh, man. I do give him free retreat with that, but I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I can come in with a Moon's Eclipse later on, which is good, I guess. Shell Trap. It's kind of stalling me out because he doesn't want to attack me because he fears that I'm going to hit the Typhlosion off that and then knock him up Bright Flame. So Shell Trap's helping us a little bit, but not to the fullest extent it needs to. Maybe I shouldn't have bumped that Devoured Field, but whatever. Just a round is beating, so he's going to actually take the damage. Okay, so if I can get a Typhlosion here, we can knock him out. Okay, I hate to do this, but it's for the good of all. All right, come on, Typhlosion. We didn't hit it. We did get Typhlosion. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can knock him out with Wings here. Actually, we can win the game, possibly, if we get Typhlosion next turn. So we will knock him out with Dark Flash. And all we need is Typhlosion. Oh, it's prized. Okay, we have Stretcher. No, yeah, I know, Sleepy, but the game is not over yet. We might actually win next turn, potentially. There's, like, not a very high chance we'll win. But I, 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 it could happen. We can Dark Flash him. We can attack with Deoxys next turn. He can't do enough damage. All right, can we get Typhlosion off the prizes to win the game? Yes! Okay, so as long as Cyndaquil survives, we win. Or actually, no, we can knock this out. No, he's resisting the Psychic. Never mind, we can't Moon's Eclipse Choice Band him. All right, we actually win next turn if he doesn't KO Cyndaquil. But he's going to be like, oh, I got to take out the Dawnwings. Because Dawnwings is a threat, right? Dawnwings is a threat. But joke's on you. I win. I guess if he doesn't judge me either, which could happen, I guess. But we have game. We have the Guzma. We got the Typhlosion off the prizes. And all we need to do is just Guzma, Lele, knock it out, and we win. That's awesome. Uh, this deck's attach power is more or less equal to Electric Cross, and when you lose Typhlosion, it becomes totally garbage. Yeah, I know, but it's just a fun fun archetype. It's not really... He, and he judges me. Oh my gosh, and he judges me. Just when I got my hopes up. Wow, rip. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way we can win. I guess we can Moon's Eclipse. We can't knock him out. Okay, can we just top deck Guzma to win the game? Okay, there we go. We win. We win. Somehow, one of the worst Pokemon you want to play against Zor comes in handy. Typhlosion, Malamar, Blasapheon. Yeah, once I get Blasapheons, I am considering trying that archetype out. Um, but that Guzma top deck was so clutch, it's not even funny. Those Lele's, those Lele's are targets, man. This is why, like, people are running, like, one Lele now. Because it's like, look at this. We, we wouldn't win the game here if, like, well, he has two in play. But if he didn't have Lele in play, we would not win this turn. So this is really good. We'd lose the game if we didn't have this combo. So Guzma the Lele. I can't do the... Never mind, I can't attack him. Oh, my gosh. I can't do Moon's Eclipse. Why did I think I could do that? 
No, Minnie, you know, I didn't know. Dang it, dude. Maybe he doesn't retreat. How much energy has he played? Hmm. Maybe he doesn't. Never mind, rip. Oh, man, I thought Moon's Eclipse was working for a sec. Dang, dude. Dang it. All right, whatever. That's We came somehow really close to winning the game. If he didn't judge me there, we would have won the game, but Judge screwed me over. That is amazing. I was not expecting him to judge me. I'm, I'm actually a little salty about that because I really wanted to win that game, especially after that dry streak we had in the middle of the match. But I am probably going to end off the stream here. We've been streaming for two hours and ten minutes, guys. Um, but thanks for tuning in. We played a lot of fun decks. We had a lot of fun. We played against another YouTuber, which is pretty hype. Why not attach the choice band to... Uh, Terminator and retreat with the Domlings. I don't think I could have done that LT, unfortunately. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Literally, we came close. If you didn't judge me, we would have won. That match was so intense. I know that was a very insane match. But I am going to end off the stream here, guys. Um, stream for two hours. I still got to record a video for tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. We had a lot of fun. And thank you. Thank you for the donations by... I need to find this guy's name once again. I think it was... I can't remember his name. The guy who donated me. I'm trying to... I think it was... Um, yeah, Swar Figure. Thank you, Swar Figure. Shout out to you for the donations on stream. Um, thank you for donating all those full arts. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good night, and goodbye.